I don't know what to say. I don't know how to make an intro out of this. I want you guys to watch this video, duh, and watch it and enjoy it. This is a fully edited Nancy Drew Curse of Blackborn Manor playthrough with all the fluff taken out of it. Uh, I streamed this originally on my channel a couple months ago, but this video took way too long for me to get it out. Uh, it's the biggest undertaking I've ever had for the channel, actually, so I hope you guys do enjoy. If you do, let me know down below, and make sure to subscribe to not miss out on future streams. Uh, there are a few audio issues throughout, but I tried to rectify as many as I could on, in post. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Choose junior or senior detective. You know we go with that senior detective. Greetings from jolly old England. Although right now I'm not so sure about the jolly part. That's because I'm on my way to Blackmore Manor. Blackmore is a very good game. The daughter, whose name is Linda, recently married Hugh Pendleton, a British diplomat. Hugh travels a lot, so the only people at the manor with Linda are Hugh. Sorry, I gotta get the I gotta get the notepad. We are true detectives. We write down notes. Alright. Hugh travels a lot. Mrs. Drake. And Hugh's 12 year old daughter Jane. The thing is, ever since Linda moved into the manor, her health has gone downhill. She's practically bedridden, and no one seems to know why. Her mother is convinced something is terribly wrong and wants me to find out what. So here I am, about to be dropped off at a huge centuries old mansion in the middle of a dark, foggy moor. <laughs> I can't tell whether the butterflies in my stomach are because I'm excited or. Just a tad creeped out. Just a tad Talk creeped out. Me. I hope, Nancy. Night, Miss. Good luck. Night, Miss. <laughs> I love the cinematics in Nancy Drew games. I adore them. Noit miss. Who's there? Hello? <laughs> There's something out there. Where, child? Right there. Open your eyes, lady. Over there. You didn't hear the low I mean, growl? Something was out there. Come in. This audio is, looks like it is so messed up. Does this sound okay? Does the game I'm sound Drake. okay? I take it you are Nancy Drew? Yes, and I really did see something, Mrs. Drake. I heard something too. Oh, people are always seeing and hearing things on the moor at night. Appreciate it. Especially you Americans. Why don't you just go on up to Ooh, your room? xenophobia for Mrs. Moon, Drake. We gotta write that down. Like write that down, write that down! <laughs> to see Linda, if I could. I'm afraid Linda is, uh, Xenophobic. not quite ready to meet with you just now. But please, come see me after you've unpacked. I'll be in the conservatory. I'll All right. be in the Thank conservatory. You. And thus it begins. Gosh, this game is very pretty. I always forget how pretty it is until I see it again. Nothing in our bag. Usually there's a Wonder what goes there. notepad or something. Something fits in here, but what? In my ranking video, I got called out because somebody said I should have mentioned uh, the music in this game. And I'm going to say something controversial. I don't really remember the music in this game. But maybe playing it again will show me how good it is. What is this? Just Zodiac? Is this Zodiac or is this Constellations? There's some Zodiac names. Cook. What does that say? Hugh? Can we speak to Hugh? Hugh is I'm the sorry, husband. I Leave me a message at the embassy or call me back later. Thank at the you. embassy. <laughs> Leave me a message at the embassy. Hmm. 
Oh lord. I've never played this one in Senior Detective, so we might be in for some... Bullshit. Some very hard puzzles. <laughs> I know, just in Nancy's room alone we've, we've hit three puzzles. How exhilarating. God, this game is so pretty. I do well. Can we play a game? Yes, but only in French. Oh. But only in French. Hit it, Joe. Oh. You think we can do this puzzle already? Bling, whoop, wah, blooding, whoop, wah, bang, bang. Whoop, bling, blooding, wah, bang. So we don't use those two. So then, let's go. Whoop, blah, bading, whoop, blah. Oh, I forgot the walls. <laughs> Bling, whoop, wah. Bling, whoop, wah. Bleeding, whoop. Bleeding, whoop. Wah, bang. Somebody comes in on the stream and they just hear me saying all this. Bang. Bling. That's a whoop. Bling. Oh wait, I do need a whoop. Bling. Whoop. Wah. Bleeding. Whoop. Wah. Bang. Bang. Beautiful. We've got the unknown key already. We're making such great headway. Hmm. I need something else for this. <laughs> oh, forget it. Stay in Italy as long as you want, then. Some kind of husband you're proving to be. It's not all in my head. Don't bother. These walls are very thin for like a a, a very expensive mansion. Should I have should I have wrote down the letters? I don't know. The conservatory. Rip the sheet off. Oh, it's just a parrot. Did ya? <laughs> no, you didn't. Did you? Did you? What's your name? Lolo. 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 I love Lulu. Okay, get the point, Lulu. Lulu, 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 Lulu. Lulu, Lulu, Lulu. Do you by any chance know Latin? Quiste rogare ben a b d v g semper ubi sabubi moritori. Semper ubi sabubi. Take that as a yes. That's what um. Translating something for me. Somebody. Semper ubi sabubi is what somebody says in Secret of the Scarlet Hand, I think. I don't I don't need any of this translated yet. I don't know what I'm asking. The longest day of the year is Solstitium, the summer solstice. The shortest day is Bruma, the winter Bruma. solstice. Equinoctium vernum is a spring equinox. Equinoctium autumnalis is a fall equinox. Day equals night. Day equals night. night. Bye, bird. Bob's your uncle. The time has come. Simper Ubi Sabubi. Felicity, a door, a I door. need the key. You're gonna need a bigger bolt. I need the key. Does Lulu usually talk that much? Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. You're <laughs> gonna need a bigger bolt. You're gonna need a bigger bolt. 
He seems very, she seems very active right now. Ah yes, are you here from the agency? It's about time. <laughs> yes, it is I. Oh, yeah, that bird is loud. specialty agency, are you? Well, how do you do? I'm Nigel Mukherjee. Nigel. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. My name's Nancy Drew. Are you visiting Blackmore Manor? I'm researching the Penvalent family, and Mrs. Drake has graciously opened the library for me. Nothing much has been written about the Penvalents. Until now. Why do you think that is? It might have something to do with their scandalous history. Or perhaps it has something to do with the family treasure. The family treasure. Um, I have no idea why my chat is not showing up on screen. Give me one second and I'm going to try and see if I can fix this. Okay, we have done the do. Might have something to do with the family treasure. Family, family treasure? treasure? For centuries, the Penvalents have been very secretive. Some believe they're protectors of a fabulous treasure or of some dark secret. There are several skeletons rattling about family in the Penvalent Family treasure? Closet. Take, for example, Eleanor Penvalent. Tried and convicted of witchcraft in 1650, quite the height of the witch trials here in Essex. It was rumored that Cromwell arranged the conviction. Cromwell? Oliver Cromwell? Ironsides? <laughs> I suppose they don't teach history any longer in the U.S. All right. Lady Penvalen was a rather Nigel. critic of Cromwell's Xenophobic. and helped many of his enemies flee the country. Whether she actually was a practitioner of witchcraft is unknown. Although, many visitors to the manor during her tenure reported hearing strange, ghostly bells. Some even we saw got another one. hands floating about the manor, tolling their charmed chimes. Put it down in the notebook. Another xenophobe. You mentioned some kind of scandal with the Penvalent family? Well, having a family member burned as a witch can hardly be considered a mark of pride, I dare say. And then there's the whole business with the Blackmore Beast. The Blackmore Beast? It's a story that's been told for generations out here. During the 1600s, many of the villagers reported seeing a strange beast with red eyes and giant fangs prowling the moors. They asked the mistress of Blackmore Manor, Eleanor Penvalent, to put a bounty on the beast's head. But, oddly enough, she not only refused, she forbade anyone from hunting the creature. It was rumored that forbade. the beast was Eleanor's husband, whom she had cursed for finding out too much about the Penvalen secret. When I was walking up to the house, I saw something with <laughs> Nancy's eyes like, I actually saw exactly that. <laughs> How extraordinary. Are you sure it wasn't just jet lag? Positive, and I heard it make this kind of growling sound. Perhaps it was the cursed husband of Eleanor Penvalin prowling about the moors in search of lost yanks. Lost yanks. <laughs> Very funny. What is with these Englanders? Tally ho. Are they really like this? Y'all hate us that much? Piece, isn't it? James Penvalin sculpted it in 1591. Although it appears that wand was added at a later date. He was quite a flamboyant figure and never married. But one day, a child appeared quite mysteriously in the castle, and he took her in as his own. That was Eleanor, and many of the townsfolk believed her to be a changeling or fairy baby. Fairy baby. A wee little fairy baby. I know there's a computer over there. We'll check it out in a minute. We should probably go to the conservatory and say hey to Miss Drake again. Man, I forget about Blackmore. This is a very good game. Very good game. The set pieces are so pretty. I don't even remember the conservatory being this big. Granted, I do just click very Looks quick like through these games. May have developed some of the plants that are in here himself. Presents the 19, uh, the Amateur Plant Hybridizers Association of Great Britain presents a 1912 award for outstanding achievement to John Pimvelin. You know how cool it'll be to say, yeah, I made this plant. I actually did it myself. <laughs> I cooked this one up one day when I was bored. Work. 
No Wawa for the frogs. Mrs. Shrake, Mrs. Shrake. Carnivorous plant. Cool. <laughs> oh. That's probably not a good idea. Oh. I'm not oh, doing that. Day? Good. I'm happy that you're visiting Linda, but I know how much you teenagers like your televisions and loud stereos, so I must insist that you act respectfully and <laughs> Mrs. Drake, xenophobic, ageist. <laughs> I am in charge of this household, and if there's one thing I cannot stand, it's noise. Hugh's daughter Jane is staying with us and would very much like to meet you, but please try not to distract her. She has her studies and mustn't be disturbed during her lessons. What is Jane studying? What every British schoolgirl needs to know. All of her schooling in the States has left her with, shall we say, a cultural deficit. She's in capable hands now. Do you know what's wrong with Linda? I don't know, and the doctors don't know. No one seems to know anything. No one seems All to know anything. All I'm told is that Linda is unwell and that in her stead, I must look after matters. Now, please, I really do not have time to entertain you. You please asked me house, to come talk to you. And refrain from Hello? With items that aren't yours. Two rules Jane seems incapable of following. And before I forget, our kitchen is being remodeled, so our dining situation is rather unorthodox. I've made arrangements with a local restaurant to deliver meals to us. They got there money. Be a programmed number for them on the phone in your room. Feel free to order whatever you'd like. They have got money. I'm concerned about that. If they're just having meals time. delivered, it was especially back in like what 2003. Stray dog, but I will not countenance any histronics about this issue. We I don't know. I guess delivery wasn't as expensive back in the day. Do not get any ideas about going outside to investigate. Investigate. I do not want you tracking mud all over this house. This place must have quite a history. Where can I learn more? Go see Nigel in the library. He's going to write a book about our family history. Can you tell me about Lulu? Lulu is a very old parrot. She oh my god. 80 years old. An 80 year old She's parrot, that's crazy. Winter, especially if you feed her. Parrots have quite delicate constitutions, you know. Goodbye. Good evening. Good evening. Rich, rich, I'm telling you. Messing with her plants is probably not a good idea. Do you have allergies, Mrs. Drake? Oh, yes. Hay fever. Although I'm not at all sure what's worse. My allergies or that medication. It makes me feel as if I'm about to float right out of my shoes. <laughs> Hay fever. One tablet every six hours. Who's hungry? Who's ready for some nummies? Did you say something, Mrs. Drake? Not to you, dear. <laughs> Who's hungry? Who wants the num nums? Okay. So, as of right now, what we know is that this is the Penvalin family. They're very rich. They have an 80 year old parrot. Uh, Mrs. Drake is xenophobic, ageist, and has hay fever. <laughs> um, the mom is bedridden, and Hugh is the husband, who is in Italy, I think is what she said. Pretty good start. <laughs> hey, that's that gargoyle. Gargoyle. I really want a, um, I would love a, a gargoyle for my house. It'd be beautiful. Kind of scary. I don't remember you. Hello? Okay, um, Betty Penny. What? That one, that one, that one. Okay, have no idea what that is. She is creepy. In recognition of Bridget Penvalin, sponsor of the Essex Cricket Club. Wonder what happened in there. They stay out of the kitchen until the fire damages is repaired. The fire damages. Oh, God. 
Oh god, who lit this fire? Oh, there's another gargoyle. A lot of the games I haven't played in Senior Detective, I know it's not super different besides like not getting hints and the puzzles being a little bit harder. Those are mainly Penelope Penvalen's collections of French novels. But um, she was a patron to a raft of artists, and her salon was. Quite you can't really cheat on stream, so that's why I'm like, I really hope I don't get stuck. <laughs> she was quite the libertine. Okay, cool. So Nigel's gonna be our. Handy dandy notebook in the sense of knowing everything about the pendulums. I don't care to know about I them. Doubt you'll find much of interest in there. They're mainly law books. Charles Penvalen was a Okay, well I guess I'll write down some century. stuff. Sad to say, he lost his son at a young age. Left his estate to his grandson, Thomas. Charles Penvalen was a judge. What did he say? I'm researching Philippe Penvalen and it appears that many scholars believe Philippe. he was a pirate. That would explain his source of wealth. Well, he's a pinvalent. Isn't he kind of born into wealth? Or is he one of the first ones? Man, just look at the computer. Do you mind if I use this computer? No, not at all. But it's very old. Feel free to use mine if I'm not here. Who's Alan? Alan Penvalen was a noted researcher in computers and languages. Jane let me into his computer, but there was nothing much of interest on it. What's the password? I'm not sure. You're not sure, but you got on it. Hello, Alan. May I have your password? Lulu. Oh, Lulu. Okay. Atisway. <laughs> Atisway. Quite track the provenance of that piece, but Philippe must have brought it back from the New World. He became quite wealthy as a merchant in the Americas, and restored Blackmore's original splendor after it had been abandoned for years. His daughter Penelope continued the renovation, commissioning the construction of this library by... Lulu, one, two, three. ...who built a similar one for the French general Jean Leboeuf. Jean Leboeuf. Well, we gotta try it now. Lulu, one, two, three. <laughs> Lulu, Lulu. We summon her. I'm not gonna say I'm lost already. Hello, but. <laughs> I feel like I should have an idea of what to do right now. Those are the Penvalens who owned Blackmoor Manor at one time or another. <laughs> I'll let you get back to your work. Farewell. They're the ones who's owned it. It's a lot of damn owners. Looks like a piece is missing. Guess she's not in her room. Mrs. Drake, Mrs. Drake. Miss Linda, how are you? Linda? Hi, it's me, Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew. She starts foaming at the mouth. <laughs> Rips through the, sh the canopy. I apologize for greeting you under such unusual circumstances. And I'm sorry to have to bother someone in your condition. My condition. Someone in your in condition. condition. What her son-in-law keeps telling me, that it's all in my head, that I'm just an unhappy new bride, that I just need time to adjust? Probably. Yeah. I'm tired just of rips through the canopy. Second chance, straight out the gate. Here's what's important, Nancy. There are some doors that should never be opened. There are some doors that hold secrets which must never be known. Yeah. That's everything you need to know. <laughs> That's everything you need to know. And then it's like roll credits. I said no, Jane. Okay. That was my stepdaughter. She can be such a pest sometimes. Anyway, I understand you feel an obligation to my mother. That's so mean to say about your kid. you can do. You're welcome to stay, but I strongly recommend that you go home as soon as possible. Please, Linda, just tell me what's wrong. Linda? The silent treatment. Okay, I'll let you rest, but I'll be back. I'm here for you if you need me. Okay, Miss Linda, you literally flew us out. Is that water? Oh no, that's a desk. <laughs> I was like... Linda, uh, you dropped your mop bucket, girl. Miss Jane, how are Hi. you? You're my 
must be Nancy. I'm so pleased you're here. I'm Jane. I know you've come to visit my stepmom, but I'd love it if you could pop by whenever you get the chance. Oh, we'll have such fun. Let's play a game. Okay. Sure, Jane. What would you like to play? We ain't got nothing Let's better to do. This card game I found in your room. Actually, it's Bridget's room. I mean, Let's play this card game I found in your bag. Like 300 years ago. You can see a painting of her in the Great Hall. She's the one with the telescope. Okay, so you have to match up a pair of constellations. I made all the matches in 25 tries. 25 so tries. All right, let's see. Bruce, guess your Pia. Scrotum. Can we just do? I'm clicking way too fast already. Sorry, I fucked up. Hey yo, Niska Muska, Mickey Mouse, Muska, Aquila, Rose. Oh shoot. I'm nearing it very quickly. Columbo, here's for us. I took too many tries, but maybe next time. That was fun, but I'd like to ask you. No, Nancy, I don't want to ask questions. I want to show people that I can match stuff. Linda. I do hope you'll help. She's been a bit out of sorts lately. When did she start getting sick? I was playing in Mommy's room when she wasn't there, and when I looked up, there was a lady all dressed in black putting... There was 40 tries in Junior stick. Detective? Damn. I was playing in Mommy's room when she looked... when she wasn't there, and when I looked up, there was a lady dressed in all black putting something on Mommy's nightstand. The woman left something? The lady put a note on Mommy's nightstand, but I didn't read it. That's when mommy started feeling poorly. I don't want to think about that. Let's play a game. Hey, mommy. Mommy. Sure. What would you like to play? Look inside the chest over there and pick a game. Hey, Shaylee. Hey, unapologetic. Chest, so I put my games in there in the hope someone would come over to play. We can play bull, constellation match, petroglyph punch, skull and bones, and I also have a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, sure, joy. Games. I love games. I want to make computer games when I grow up. A little self-insert by the her interactive people. I want to play the you um. Like playing skull and bones. I don't. I want the Are matching game. Oh, it's that's. It's really easy to play. You roll I didn't click on it. Warrior, the number of dots on the. Your turn. Can we back out of Are this? Sure? Yeah, I'm you sure. Bad. You lose. Do you want to play? I'll take the L on that one. Oh my god, there's so much stuff I have to ask her about. Do we'll you ask her this first. The password is for the computer in the library? Yes, but I won't tell. Not unless you beat me at Skull and Bones. Okay, well. My friend Hugo bought this for me. It's like Go Fish, but you have to collect three of a kind of weird things like zombies and ghosts. You go first. Collect three of a kind? You know, I don't really know how to play Go Fish. Um. Do you have any bats? Here you go. Do you have any haunted houses? Here you go. Do you have any haunted houses? Dig. Okay, I see. Your witches, please. All yours. Do you have any zombies? Go dig. And then it switches. Okay. Do you have any coffins? Nada. Your witches, please. Get out your shovel. Do you have any skulls? Go dig. Hmm. Any bones? Go dig. Do you have any ghosts? Nada. Do you have any coffins? No. Yours. A match? Hmm, you're doing great. Doom stones? All yours. Do you have any zombies? You're going to have to go dig. Do you have any haunted houses? Dig. Damn it. Your witches, please. Get out your shovel. Do you have any bats? Sorry. Your witches, please. Your witches, please. Yours. A match? Hmm, you're doing great. She's about to squeeze me. All yours. Do you have any skulls? All yours. She's about to squeeze me. Good for you. Do you have any zombies? At go you're fish. Go dig. I don't. I never played go fish a lot as a kid. Oh my god. Okay. Doom stones? Go dig. You got a match. Good for you. We got a match finally, thank you. She's gonna get that. No. She has spiders, doesn't she? What's that skill? Yup, yup. 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 Give me your tombstones too. We're on a roll, get it. I know that's right. You won. Good job. Okay, the password for my grandfather's computer is on his coat of arms, plain as day. Coat of arms. Coat of arms. And that is Alan Pendulin. Have you ever seen anything strange outside? 
Once I saw my Uncle Roger's toupee fly off during a windstorm. Talk about freaky. <laughs> I mean, have you seen a strange animal outside? <laughs> I'm like, Hello? Roger wears a toupee? <laughs> That'll come up later. Howling, but not like a dog howling, more like something human. I don't want to think about that. It's scary enough having to live in this gloomy place. The lady in black you saw in Linda's room. No, for real. Lulu one two three is a lot better. Like I said before, I couldn't really see her face, but she was kind of dressed like the lady in the great hall. Which you have to be more specific, girl. I know it sounds weird. That's why I didn't want to tell anyone. It's too creepy. Sometimes wonder if I just dreamed it all up. Mrs. Drake is always saying I have a rampant imagination. Do you think there's a treasure hidden around here? I highly doubt it. I mean, if there were, wouldn't someone have already found it? When I asked Ethel about it, she said that it's the Penville name and heritage that should be treasured. Ugh. I should get going. Boo! Tell us where the treasure is. I know you know. I use that to make cakes for Lulu the parrot. That's why the ingredients are so nasty. Like I would eat mealworms. Aren't you glad <laughs> we don't have to use that thing to cook our food? I saw the kitchen. What happened to it? I guess you could say I happened to it. But it was Ethel's fault. She inspired me to study the oxidation rates of different kinds of cookie doughs. Only my snickerdoodle experiment got away from me. She's like, like I would eat mealworms, and they're like falling off the side of her mouth, trying to divert attention. Can we not do anything Meal besides worms. mealworms? Ugh. Do you mind if I make something? Go right ahead. Blueberries. Do you mind if I make something? Go right ahead. Is that coal? It's avocado. I won't need the oven until I have something to bake. An introduction of runes. Make a treat for Lulu. I don't want to kill Lulu. I don't know what she eats. She's 80 years old. I'll try and make something for her. First six runes spell out the word Futhark. Runes are comprised of straight lines. They could easily be cut into wood or stone. So that spells out Futhark. Ugh. Or groups of eight. Let's make Lulu some food Do real you quick. Mind if I make something? Go right ahead. We'll give her some mealworms. I feel like this is to divert us. Personally, I would put crackers in. Oh, that's unsalted mixed nuts. Yeah, she'd love that. She'd pick that up. Mm. All right, Lulu. We have a poison Who's cake this? for you. That's my mom, my real mom. She's an opera singer. It's not like she's famous or anything, but she does live in Paris. It's not like she's famous or anything. What is this book? Don't know really. Ethel gave it to me. She said it belonged to my grandfather. Do you think Brady Armstrong is cute? <laughs> Do you think? Who's Brady Armstrong? I ain't worried about him. Wow, there is a lot going on in this game. I know, Brady Armstrong shows up in almost every game at this point. Truly a, um... Jesus Christ, there's a lot of stuff in this book. It's truly an icon internationally. Madame Butterfly. That was written by Charles Pemberlin way back in like the 1500s. Oh yeah, yeah Sunny June's so everywhere too. Familiar, you know? As the moon rises upon thee, fear not, but draw upon the strength of absent friends and toast to their memories and happiness and wonder with the Dalwart heart of a knight, let charity be thy guiding angel. Stay firm in knowledge as a dedicated geometer, and fear not the ravages of father time. 
For dear child, as you learn the lessons of folly, the secrets of this world will dawn in thy soul. What a touching poem. You had a guinea pig? Yes, but it died. When? I don't know. I'd really rather not think about it, alright? I love guinea pigs. I, I've really been wanting to get a guinea pig recently, but I know I don't need to. Looks like you're learning some interesting stuff. Bet you wouldn't say that if you were the one who had to learn it. Bridget Penvalin, biography, French, Latin, science, math, English, art projects. I totally love that show. Isn't Brady Armstrong so dreamy? Total hottie. I have the sneaking suspicion that she might like Brady Armstrong. Could be wrong though. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. You must be nice. <laughs> tutor, Ethel. How do you do? Jane is very excited you're visiting. You're all she's talked about for the past week. Wow, I feel so embarrassed. I didn't think I'd have a fan club all the way over here. Ethel yes, jump scare. I know. I'm sorry, <laughs> a bit of a rush. I need to go over some things with Jane. Oh, I guess I'll be going then. It was a pleasure meeting you, Nancy. Our paths will cross again, I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay. So, password is on. Okay, never mind. Hello. Hi, Nancy. So much talking, 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 talking. Literally speaking, no, but I did talk to her. Not that she told me anything. I'm just about at my wit's end. I've never known her to act like this. The last doctor that examined her said that aside from a little dry skin, which is not unusual for her, she was perfectly fine. Why is she hiding behind that curtain? I have no idea. When I was out there last week, I got fed up and pulled the curtain back. She threw a fit. I know that's right. She's like, I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. Talk me. Something has changed her. Something in that house. Hugh is just as bewildered and upset by her behavior as I am. Please get to the bottom of this, Nancy. You're our last hope. Who exactly is Mrs. Drake? She's Hugh's aunt. She's taken care of Blackmore Manor ever since her brother died. He was Hugh's father. She's a bit of a character. Xenophobic, ageist, hay fever, Hugh's aunt. <laughs> the list just keeps getting bigger. I noticed. The way she spends all her time in that conservatory, slouching around, trowel in hand, murmuring to herself. You'd think she was burying something. Or somebody. Where is Hugh? He was called to Rome. As a diplomat, he's always oh, in Rome. The country without warning and without any say in the matter. He'd much rather be there with Linda. Although... Although what? It's just that Hugh said it hasn't been very easy for him to talk to her lately. Whenever he calls, which is at least once a day, Linda always seems to fly off the handle for no reason. Which doesn't make sense. Linda has always been extremely level-headed and even-tempered. She never gets angry. At least she didn't used to. Goodbye, Mrs. Pedroff. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, one more thing. My niece is on call and her husband's out of town, and, and I told her I'd go over there and babysit if she had to work. So if you call and I don't answer, that's why I love my upstairs Bye. neighbors. That's probably Alan right there in his coat of arms isn't here. So he was a tech guy, right? Alan was? There's Lulu. Will Nigel tell us which one he is? Hello, Nancy. I'll let you get back oh. to your work. Tally ho. Hello, Nancy. Have Hello, you seen Nancy. Any ruins anywhere in the manor? You mean like Norse ruins? No, I haven't. I don't really know much about them anyway. Dead languages aren't really my bag, you know. I'll let you get back to your work. You know, I stay in my bag, Nancy. Viewed the door off. Spasiba. Spasiba. She's such a dick for just being like, oh yeah, this one is coat of arms. You gotta figure out which one though. That's a catchy watch that's unhinged. I mean, true game. I oh, know. Very unhinged. Just thrown straight into it. And they're like, figure it out. Bye, bird. You can't even... You can't even ask Lulu. 
I have a tree for you. Bye, bird. Okay. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. Gesundheit. Bro, s sneeze again. I dare you. Century novels. Those manuscripts are very old and brittle. They date back to the 14th century. Odo Penvelin collected most of them. His father, Randolph, and son, Milo, were rather more interested in military victories than in book collecting. Otto, 14th century. That's all I can write down for it. I, I don't know what's important in that. Maybe I'm not a true detective. <gasps> Is there someone I can talk to on the phone? Hugh is going to be busy again, isn't he? Hugh Penvalin here. <gasps> Hello, Mr. Penvalin. This is Nancy Drew. I'm the one who's visiting Linda. You know, from the United States. Across, across the, the pond. pond. Yes, of course. Are you at Blackmore? Yes, I am, and I've talked to Linda. Good for you, because frankly, that's something I've been quite unable to do lately. These temper tantrums of hers make rational discourse well nigh impossible. How long have these tantrums been going on? Ever since I left for Italy. We'll be talking on the phone about the weather or Jane's lessons or something equally innocuous and suddenly she'll be bellowing at me and slamming the phone down. Are you sure you didn't inadvertently say something, you know, argumentative? Are you sure you're not a dickhead? <laughs> of hers are totally uncalled for and quite unbearable. I love her dearly, but she is making things very difficult. Oh, well. Have you spent much time on your father's computer? Got a lot to Open talk about. Library? I dare say I've never touched it. Mathematics, computer science, linguistics, all the things that fascinated my scholarly father bored me to tears. He gave up on me quite early on. With Jane, however, it was a different story. What do you mean? From the day she was born, my father doted on her far more than he ever doted on me. Alan is Read to her about her books, games. Truth be told, I was a bit jealous. He passed away when she was still a toddler, so it's unlikely she remembers all the attention he showered on her. But I do, and I still find it so out of character as to be mystifying. Interesting. I met your daughter Jane. Quite the bundle of energy, isn't she? How long have you and her mother been divorced? I didn't click that. Jane. Quite the bun, the bun, the bun. I were divorced okay. almost two years ago. Jane went into a bit of a tailspin for a while, but she's come to adore Linda. She's been calling her mummy since the day we were married. I understand that Mrs. Drake is your aunt? Yes, Aunt Letitia. We're not very close, however. She's always been rather aloof, much more interested in being a Penvalin than a person, if you know what I mean. She seems kind oh, of that's right. irritable. That's putting it mildly. But then I imagine she's feeling a bit insecure. She's getting on in years and she's alone and she's totally dependent upon me. Financially, that is. Although there is the six month habitation clause. The what? According to the Penvalin rules six of months. inheritance, the spouse of Blackmore Manor's current owner, that would be Linda since I'm the current owner, the spouse of the current owner must sure reside I... in the manor for at least six months. Interesting. Should she or he leave the manor before six months is up, ownership of one half of the estate immediately passes to the next legal heir. And that would be Mrs. Drake. Correct. Well, that's a motive. It was nice talking to you. This is an extremely busy time for Interesting. Me, so I apologize in advance if you call and I'm unavailable. I understand. Good. Cheerio. Good. Cheerio. Let's call Ned and see what he has to say. And then after that, we have to do some actual, like, sleuthing. Hello? Figure Hi, out what we need hey, to do. Nancy. Just wanted to let you know I got here safely. So how's Blackmore Manor? A little on the spooky side. How's Mrs. Petrov's daughter? A little on the spooky side. <laughs> it's just very strange. She stays in bed hiding behind this curtain all day. Do you have any idea what the deal is? Nope. Well, just keep talking to her. As soon as she knows she can trust you, I'm sure she'll open up. Apparently, each of Jane's ancestors had different coats of arms. Really? That's odd. You'd think there would be just one coat of arms for the whole family. Believe me, the Pendleton family is nothing if not odd. I know that's each right. Coat of arms includes very I gotta stop saying that. Somebody told me I said that too much in my last stream. I don't know that yet. But I have a sneaking suspicion that it's very important that I find out. 
Nothing like a good sneaking suspicion to keep you on your toes, I always say. Linda's stepdaughter, Jane, she has this really weird picture book in her room. What do you mean, a picture book? I mean, pictures are all that's in this book. No words, just these strange hand-drawn images. And the book is old. Centuries. Like it's been for centuries. Drawing, huh? Maybe it's uh, some kind of an ancient instruction manual. You know, for people who didn't know how to read. Could be. When I asked her about it, Jane said her grandfather gave it to her. And then... And then so those And then she changed the subject. Hmm. Sounds like that book may prove to be pretty important. I'll talk to you soon. I'll be waiting. Okay, so that book is also his. Let's... Oh my god, they have the clock. On the phone. I never noticed that back in the day. So you can keep up with what's going on because there is kind of a time system in this game Going. I don't play games unless I get information from you Jane mm -hmm. just kidding I really want to do the matching puzzle again but <laughs> sing it Jane there's too much going on in this book there's no way I can try and decipher that Linda? I'm sorry to bother you again, but Jane told me about the lady in black. What lady in black? Jane never said anything to me about a lady in black. That kid is so weird. I just don't get her. Did you receive a note or something? That She's so you? mean to I Jane. I received something. But it's none of your concern. You can't help me and that's that. I'm sorry. Okay, Linda, girly pop. Damn. Chance. Everyone is so worried about you. If you just tell me what's happened, maybe I could help. And now a silent yeah. treatment. That's you so annoying. To your mother and I plan to keep it. I'm You're fully grown, you girl. I would want this room. I love that wallpaper. At her big age. No, for real. A fully grown woman. Giving me the silent treatment. Uh oh. Not good. Stay away. Stay away. What's not good? Behind you. Don't look. What's behind me? Don't look, don't look. Okay, I won't. Nothing there. Oh, <laughs> Bye, bird. Bye, bird. Bye, bird. It's right behind me, isn't it? Mrs. Drake, could you help out a fellow detective? Yes. The picture book in Jane's room. Do you know much about its history? My brother Alan found it somewhere in the house. He was quite fascinated by it, but he'd never let me look at it. What was your brother Alan like? He was quite remarkable. He taught linguistics and computer science and won many prestigious awards. He loved games, especially pranks, and was forever tinkering with this and that. I do miss him sometimes, but now he's gone. He died a month after my husband passed away. And ever since I've been here all alone. Mrs. Drake is a lot older than I realized. Goodbye. Probably. Because Alan was 80 when he died, isn't that what they said? Plants is probably not a good idea. You know, that little piano riff right there, it sounds like um ghost dogs a little bit, doesn't it? Or am I tripping? Jane. She's probably sleeping. Oh my god, is it already sleep I need time? The key. the key fits, but it won't turn. I need to put some kind of grease in there first. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, I guess we should just sleep. Because we'll need to talk to people anyway. Let's get some food, actually. Let's get some bangers and mash. Bangers and mash, yeah. Oh wait, no, that's Australian. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Is it? I'm supposed to call you if I want some food. Right, right. Nancy Drew, out at the old Blackmore Manor, are you? Coo, you must be Ink Marvin up there. Pity about your kitchen, but we'll fix you up for some Bex and Posh. Just tell me what Bex and like. Posh. Uh, okay. What do you have? We've got some loop de loop, bangers and mash, a real fine pinky and perky, and a delicious dog's eye, me fork and knife, just rubber ducked. Hello. <laughs> loop de loop. <laughs> sure, we've got some loop de loop bangers and mash, pinky and perky, and a dog's eye, and they're all Robin Hood. They're all Robin Hood, bro. I'm telling you. Bangers and mash. Let's have some bangers oh, yeah. and mash. Uncle 
getting Johnny Rudder? Uh, okay. All right then. We'll come round and leave it at your Rory. Your Rory. Oh, we've got no hot potato about, so it might take a bit. But we'll have it up to you in no time. Fish and taters. I don't know what any of that was. <laughs> I have no idea. Roidy toidy. Is Nigel still here? No, he's not. And he just leaves his computer open. That's crazy. Yeah. A little Nancy mukbang. Mukbang. Fingertips for typing notes to Nigel. Nigel, I'm very intrigued by what you've learned so far at Blackmore. Good work. I can definitely see this as a bestseller if you deliver the goods. Or should I say, goodies. Mmm. Looks like somebody knows something. Oh wow, this is like the whole thing. The columns in the Great Hall are most curious. Each one represents a Greek deity and each one missing some minute detail. Although the column appears to have been built around the same time, careful examination shows that they have been constructed over a period of several hundred years. The riddles I found in Corbin's secret room in France make reference to the Mercury column and how his key is held in hand. Most likely the statue in the library and that only by persuading Mercury to face north and lift his eyes to the sky will the wand key be released. I'm sure the mechanism to move this is in the hidden passages Corbin refers to, but how to access the secret passages. Wow, okay. I want to use slowly to write his dissertation on linguistics and animal communication. He used Lulu to write it? What does that even mean? Using a keyboard and working as fast as you can, type whatever appears in the blink. That was pretty good. <laughs> 27 words per minute. <laughs> There's no way. What's up, BB Frank? Is my food here yet? Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to my mukbang. Eat it up, Nancy. This smells delicious. Oh! Nice. That's how we can unlock her bedroom. Should we save and unlock her bedroom while she's sleeping? <laughs> This'll loosen things up in there. Oh wow. Ludus Ergo S. Okay. Cool. Um, we get to see all the symbols now. Man, I thought I'd get something out of that. I guess we did, but not the something I want. What is that? Uh, oh, baby, I'd better have a look around. <laughs> what in the world? Who is cackling right now? Hello? I better stay inside. If I track mud in the house, Mrs. Drake will kill me. It is 3.15! Who is cackling? We Americans need our sleep! She's probably sleeping. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Mrs. Drake, is that you? No, can you only keep knocking? Mrs. Drake, are you in there? Mrs. Drake! Nancy. Oops. I didn't arrange for you to visit Blackmore Manor so you could spend your time scaring the wits out of elderly women. But I really had no idea Mrs. Drake would react like that. I mean, you didn't just knock on her door. door. You, yeah. You were screaming at her door. I'm sorry, Mrs. Petrov. I guess I wasn't thinking. Well, unfortunately, what's done is done, and there's nothing more to be said. Well, there's one more thing. I'm fired. Bingo. Mrs. Drake, is that you? I tried to walk away the first time. I need the key. Why does she sound like that? I 
need the key. I need the key. I need the key. I perfectly overlaid them the first time. I need the key. That's so weird. Was that it? Like, I, I thought we would see something. Was there just mumbling? Nothing going on? Let's go back to bed. Upset. What's that? Bright looks towards heaven at midnight. Hey. Nice. A little serenade for the girlies. Do you guys want to see Nancy get eaten by the plant? Nancy, it's time for you to meet your fate. Ah! Go. Okay. Serious mode. We're locking in. We gotta figure out how to get into this damn computer. Here, eat this poison cake. I got you. Hello. Nope. Bye, bird. Bye, bird. Bye, bird. Linda, were you moaning last night? Hi, Linda. Were you chanting Eldritch horrors? I can't believe you're still here. I thought for sure that maybe you can help me. I know I can help you. Just tell me you what's wrong. You haven't missed anything, really. Uh. Mostly because Hold what on. happened is all my fault. I should have listened, but I didn't. <sighs> One day after Hugh left for Rome, I inadvertently discovered a secret passageway. Mm. I started to explore it. Oh yeah, we can do the plan again. <laughs> message etched into the wall. When I read it, I realized it was some kind of ancient curse. I tried to laugh it off, but it was kind of unnerving. So I went back to my room and found a note on my nightstand. The exact and on it was written the curse. exact same curse. That very night, I started to feel strange. The curse has been coming true ever since. Did anyone see you go into the passageway? No, no one. You see, I'd been warned not to go poking around by Hugh, Mrs. Drake, Ethel. They all said the manor is old and dangerously decayed. So I made sure no one was watching. And even if someone did see me in the passageway, I went directly to my room afterwards. How could someone write down the exact same curse and get it into my room before I came back? No, something else did this. Something, something not, not human. human. Where is the secret passageway? I can't tell you that. I've already caused my own doom. I won't do the same to you. I can handle it, Linda. Really? You have no idea what you're up against. Can I at least see the note that was left on your nightstand? I burned it as soon as I read it. I don't know why I bothered telling you this. You can't do anything for me. I should have listened, but I didn't. And now it's oh done. Oh my god, done. Linda. Please. I've been living at the old college try, believe me. But she can just be so strange sometimes. Maybe she's just trying too hard to get you to like her. That could be part of it, but she'll just do the oddest things. Like one night just after Hugh left, she came into my room and insisted I read a book to her. That doesn't sound very odd to me. The book was on monsters, vampires, and werewolves, and witches. <laughs> I mean, what kind of little girl reads books like that? Most little girls, I'll be she honest with you. To this house, that's for sure. Probably not back in that time. Well, Twilight was written in 2007. It's 2003. Or two, I could be wrong. Also, what is this? Can, can we do something here? Betty Penny. Oh. Oh, this is like just another game of Go Fish. Oh, wow, okay. She had a book. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, okay. So I got that. Well, she has two new parts, so it's just you guys. What? I can't find it. Oh. Oh, no, okay. Dumbass. Dumbass. I don't know what the point is. You have this. No. Oh, 
she got like a lot of cards? Oh no, it's just hard. Uh, okay. No. She has a. No, she has a. 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 Do you have this yet? You do. And now I have to draw for the bird. But she doesn't have the bird. Give me the match. Damn it. She does have that. I knew she'd pull it. Give me the last column. Give me the last column. Please give me, oh, she's gonna give me the bird. And then I can pull her column, let's go. What a, what a weird way to integrate another Go Fish game when you can play the same thing with. Sorry Betty, you lose. Uh, what's her name? What do we get for that, please let. I don't get anything from that. Did I play that backwards? Or was I just supposed to get more? That sucks, I thought I would get something from that. Damn it. Hi, queen. Hi, Nancy. Do you know of any secret passageways in the manor? I found one, but all it did was lead to this funny picture. Do you think you could show me where the passageway is? Wouldn't you rather play a game with me? I'm so bored. Okay. I got this. No, <laughs> it's bull. It's supposed to Damn it, this is going to take forever. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your turn. Big money. That's it. Gotcha. Big money. Come on. Let's go. Give me a one. Oh my god. Let's go. That was technically a perfect game. Hmm. Let's make it a perfect game. That's crazy. Okay, I found the secret passageway in the east hall. That's the hall with the coat of arms on the door. But very it's clean, I know. Passageway. You're going to be RNG before. gods bless what me. Would you rather play a game with me instead? The east hall is locked. Do you know how I can get in it? My great aunt took the key. She probably thought I'd break mm. something. Now. But I found another one. Here, you can keep it if you want. <gasps> Huge. Have you ever heard anything strange? We actually sounds like are progressing for once. So yeah. exciting. I should get going. She's like, no, I definitely didn't chant last night in between the hours of 3.15 and 3, 3.17 a.m. Oh, did y'all see the, the thing? It just blinked at us. I clicked so fast it went past it. That was pretty cool. I like games that do little things like that. Okay, East Hall. So I'm going to go ahead and write the directions because Nigel's notes said that it is pointing in directions. Right, up, up, left, down, right. Pay. Pay no attention to the bird behind the counter or the curtain. Semper ubi sabubi.
the hands move. Right, up, up, left, down, right. Nope. Is that not it? Chat, if you know what to do. What directions did you take note? Um, I did it right, up, up. Oh, that's down. There's a comment going down. Okay. Dumbass. <laughs> Hmm, still a dumbass it seems. Right up. I can barely see it because it's in the middle or the top left corner of my screen. Fireball going down. That's going down, right? So, right. One, two. I wish we could call this. She's on a sailing trip, uh, or sailing camp, sorry. Okay, I thought, I swear I just put that in the, right before I checked it again when I found out it was a comment. I wanna look around in there, I'm going to need a flashlight. Oh my god, really? Okay. Nancy always needs something. Miss Jane, do you have a flashlight? Did you find what you were looking for on that secret passageway? And if I did, live in a very interesting house. And if I, I don't did, want to hear. it's so scary to think people can be looking about behind these walls. But you shouldn't tell anyone about them either. If you do, they'll probably close them off and say they're too dangerous. Do you have a flashlight? <laughs> a flashlight? Oh, Nancy, flashlight is an American term. In the UK, we they are so pretentious. One, the damn pimbalons. If you want one, you have to play a game with me. That's the rule. This is a game I bought in Arizona. Pitch, Petroglyph Punch. How about that? On your mark, get set, go! Line up glyphs in a row or column. Line up to four glyphs, line up to five. Let's do hard. How does this work? Can you only... Can you move them? Okay, you can fully move them, okay. Yeah, we just played through some good old Shadow Ranch. I really enjoyed playing through Shadow Ranch again. Shadow Ranch is another one of those really high tier games. I am. Oh, there's literally like six of those on screen. I really enjoyed that show a lot as a kid. Kinda wanna make a video on it, but I'm sure it's been done to death at this point. Did y'all see that combo? Yeah, I didn't know you could hit that, did you? That's right. I didn't I was I think I was too young to catch it as it aired in all honesty. I think I'll mainly watch reruns as a kid. Okay, now I'm really feel like there's no matches left. Mr. Uh, Olmec, I think is his name. Oh, I'm not gonna hit this score. I did hard, I know. Okay, there's that. There's that. There's that. You know what game we should've played tonight? We should've played, um... We should've played Danger by Design. I don't like these low combos I'm doing. There we go. Yay! As your glow stick, if this one goes out, I'll let you play for another one. Oh, wow, you're so kind. I should get going. Thank you, Jane. Yes. Oh my god, we have to put this in again? Right, down, down, up, left, right. Ooh. Terrifying.
Is the bus still running? Oh my god, how deep is it? That doesn't look like a curse. Barber and a picture of a parrot. I wonder if Lulu has something to do with this. Barber and a picture of Lulu. No, I'm going to pay full attention to you. Does the word barber mean anything to you? Watch the magic word. Uh, please? Ding. Sorry, that is incorrect. No, oh, well. Wow. Magic word. Magic word. Magic word. Magic word. A deal's a deal. The word annoying comes to mind. Ding. Sorry, that is incorrect. Magic word. Magic word. Magic word. A deal's a deal. Okay, okay. I guess I'll go try to figure out what the Damn, magic Nancy, word calm is. down. It's a bird. Barber, magic word, has to deal with a Lulu. Nigel might know something. The magic word is linguistics. Hello, Nancy. I'll let you get back to your work. Farewell. I want to get that damn password so bad. Jane will know what to do. Jane, tell us about the bird. Google. Hi, Nancy. Do you know what the magic word is for Lulu? Magic word? Uh, no. I think you're spending a bit too much time with that parrot. I should get going. Ta-ta! A ta-ta! Sorry, I just screamed really loud. A ta-ta! Hickory dickory dog, teapot lids, nanny goat, baked beans or Dixie queens. Linda, do you know what the bed means? Linda, I found the secret passageway. Jane told me where it is, but I didn't see any curse in there. How could you have missed it? It was right there, just waiting to be found. Wanting to be found. I can't believe how foolish I was. That stupid gargoyle. I hated how its evil eyes would stare at me whenever I walked to my room. So I moved it around, changed its position, kept fiddling with it. But when that wasn't was a gargoyle. Opened, I couldn't resist going in there. Which gargoyle is this? What do you mean, which gargoyle? I thought you said you found the secret passageway. So there's more than one. Linda, I think someone's trying to scare you off. I think they thought you were getting too close to something that's hidden in this house. You're right. I did get too close to something. That witch. That witch that was burned at the stake. She's cursed me and she's probably cursed you too. Linda. Crazy. I'll see you soon. I hope so. I hope so. Okay. Barber. So there's this gargoyle. Well, that's the gargoyle Linda was talking about. Something tells me I'd better not mess with this until I know what I'm doing. I need something else for this. There's got to be an easier way to figure this out. But what if there isn't, Nancy? Something tells me I'd better not mess with this until I know what I'm doing. Something tells me I'd better not mess with this until I know what I'm doing. Nancy, how will you know what you're doing unless you mess with it? Am I right or am I wrong? Also, it, it terrifies me that you said, oh no, this part. What does that mean? Is it... Are we... Am I going to be stuck for even longer than I was beforehand? Before I found the secret passage? And there's this too. Hello, Nancy. Who is the man in the Great Hall with a gargoyle? That's Corbin Pendleton, born in 1670 Corbin. and died in 1741, I believe. He was Eleanor's grandson and spent his life in France. It was rumored that he secretly returned to Blackmore to continue his grandmother's experiments in the mystical arts. In the mystical Where arts. Where can I find his coat of arms? I didn't realize you were so interested in Penvalin history. I'd be happy to show you his coat of arms, but I'm in dire need. A typist. Perhaps. Me with my 27 words I per minute. That which you seek. Damn it's it. A deal. What do you want me to do? Perhaps first we should see how fast you type no. this program will rate your speed. Just type the characters that appear on the screen. If you're good enough, I'll let you type up my memoirs, and then I'll let you see the coat of arms. I don't want to type again. Okay, X, K, L, U, Z, G, one, two. That's a one, or a lowercase L. U, Z, I'm so scared. Every time I do this, it legit feels like there's a gun to the back of my head. C-A-S-L-R. 
Is that good enough? Please tell me it's good enough. Excellent score. Okay. Here's what I'd like you to type Maybe this is what's you keeping know, Nigel busy. Yeah. <laughs> He's just playing like typing car racing games. Oh, I thought I, I was thought I had to type that. Jesus. These are the most boring memoirs I've ever read in my life. <laughs> For the birthday party, I gave I gave John a wind up tour. Embark on a voyage of his story. Yeah, done. Finally. I feel like I've been typing forever. Nigel! Nigel! Is he not even there anymore? Nancy, thank you so much for your work. Here's your reward. It attaches a sketch of Corvin's crest that I found in the Chateau de Verteur. Never found a picture of it in Blackmore. Two, one, one, two, one. But what does that mean? It's the gargoyle. What time is it? 3.17? Hmm. Oh, wow. What are they doing? Uh, oh yeah, my actions ensure that my name will endure to the end. To the end. Ben Baden. That was a little creepy. Jesus I Christ. That time, didn't I? We're almost perfect. You did very well. But remember, this must remain a secret. Do not discuss it with anyone. Yes, Ethel. And don't forget, you have a math exam tomorrow. Yes, Ethel. And be sure to brush your teeth. Yes, Ethel. Good night. Why well, just come back on? It smells like oil. They're just feeding the oil eating whale that lives downstairs. Need something else for this. Okay. Well, apparently we know what to do now. Except I don't with the gargoyle. If there's one thing Nancy knows how to do, is confront somebody about something weird they did instantly. Oh my God. Hi, Nancy. Jane, I saw you and Ethel performing some kind of ritual. What were you doing? Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. You and Ethel were pouring oil or something down some kind of drain. Coo, you're a daft one. Imagine me and Ethel running around in the middle of the night pouring oil down drains. I didn't say anything about it taking place in the middle of the night. Well, uh, isn't that when weird rituals usually take place? In the dead of night? Anyway, you were probably just having a bad dream. Believe me, this castle can sometimes give you nightmares. I should get going. Au revoir. Mm -hmm. Nigel gave that to me when I was in the library once. So Nigel it gave her the book. It scare me, but it didn't. I'm too smart to believe in that sort of stuff. The real deal. According to legends, those who voluntarily become werewolves obtain the ability to change their form through sorcery. Voluntary lycanthropes were people that had been cursed by someone that had wrong or had been bitten by or born to a werewolf. This phone number just might come in handy. We'll give her a call. You know anything about the Pinvalins? Crazy group of people, isn't it? We're gonna rat out Linda? Jane. Tell me again how you opened up that secret passageway. Not on your life. I've already said too much. Is there anything I can get for you? A well full of nice cold water sounds good. My a well? So dry and I always seem to be a damn well? And I get so hungry. You should go. <laughs> but I like talking to you. I said go. Now. Get out. Do you hear me? Get out! Okay, queen. Damn. Chill, bro. 
I get so hungry for Nancy. We're like, Linda, come on. Hello! Oh, I almost forgot to thank you for typing my manuscript. Was Corbin's coat of arms helpful? Yes, it was. What can you tell me about it? The coat of arms is quite extraordinary. In fact, several of the Penvelin heraldry are distinct in that they contain unconventional, uh, conventions. Let me take a look at that photo. See here. The shooting stars symbolize Corbin's heritage, since mm -hmm. Randolph the Red Shield also contains this imagery. But the formation is quite intriguing. The shield is divided in eight sections, but some sections contain no imagery. Moreover, the unbalance between Dexter and Sinister is quite baffling. Dexter and Sinister? Sorry, that's a term used for describing heraldry. Dexter is Latin for right hand, and okay. Sinister means left. It gets even more confusing because this describes the sides from the coat of arms point of view. So we'd say there are two shooting stars in the upper sinister or left hand corner. I don't feel like that was a question I should have asked. She's like, tell me about it. And then you just, it's like, yeah, it's a cool coat of arms. Dexter, sinister. Oh, wow. Senior detective is kind of hard. Is that how many times I have to turn it? Would it go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Or is that, okay. Is that the directions? So, two, right one, one. We'll do this first. Two left, one right, one left. Two right, one left. This will probably not do anything at all. I'm sorry if this is wasting our time. Two left. Right, left, one, two. No. No. Woo! <laughs> I did not think that would work. Okay. Nice. Wow. She was really spinning that thing, wasn't she? She was like, it just pestered me so. And she was like doing a whole code. I can see into Linda's room. <laughs> I know that's right. Damn, bro. Queen needs to utilize All some the nair. Shall pass here. All others shall transform into beasts. Tooth and nail shall grow long, and hair shall turn coarse, till their aspect be as loathsome as their cold hearts. Prove thy worthiness and memorialize here the innocent one so wrongly condemned for saving lives. Else consider thyself right and truly cursed. Prove thy worthiness and memorialize here the innocent one so wrongly condemned for saving lives. Oh, the witch. Oh. Is there a certain amount of stuff that I have to press? Okay. I have some of it wrote down. We have the first. No, we don't, because it doesn't have the N rune. Do we spell barber here? Is that what we need to do? Or am I just guessing wrongly? from the other one. Is there an E? Let me get an E. R. Is that what it would be? Is it Barber? I think we can put that in. This will just open now, right? Please. Oh. I need something else for this. 
See, that's why we don't look away. One, two, one, two, one, four, two. Okay. Do they have the B? I don't think they have the B. There's no B. What was the lady's name who got killed? Unless you enter the name of the person who was wrongly condemned, you'll turn into some kind of beast. Okay, so we just need to find out the lady, the name of that lady. I should have just wrote it down. We haven't talked to Miss Drake in a second. Let's talk to her. Yes. Do you know anything about Lulu's magic word? Magic word? Oh, yes. You see, my brother and grandfather would play a word game with Lulu. I never understood how it was played, but they'd play for hours. Lulu would sometimes grow sullen and refuse to play the game anymore unless they told her that... Oh, what was it that they'd have to tell her? It's perched on the tip of my tongue. Ah, oh, they had to tell Lulu that she was a very, very clever and beautiful bird. <laughs> awesome. I think Ethel is trying to recruit Jay into some kind of secret society. Oh, for heaven's sake, child. Where did you ever get such nonsense? Uh, uh probably from the rituals, brother. Ritual in the Great Hall in the middle of the night. Poppycock! A ritual in the middle of the night? Young lady, I will not abide such wild stories. Imagine Ethel Bossany recruiting my grandniece into some kind of secret society. <laughs> Next thing you'll be saying, Linda has been cursed by some roving spirit, or that we have ghosts prowling about. Would you have a torch that I could borrow? No, I'm afraid not. Jane ruined all of ours with some sort of experiment she cooked up. An experiment. But I believe she may have some of those glow sticks for illumination. Goodbye. Good day. Good day. Lulu, you're a very, very clever and very, very beautiful bird. I know the magic word. Magic word, magic word. What's a magic word? Lulu is a very, very clever and beautiful bird. Ah, clever and beautiful. How true, how true. Clever and beautiful. Ah. Easy, Lulu. You're hurting my ears. I love this damn bird. Barber. Leech. Leech, 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 leech. Bye, bird. Leech. Bye, bye. Allez, bye, bye. Uh oh. No. Looks like it's time for another glow stick. I don't want to play a game. I don't want to do it, Nancy. Be quick. Be quick, Nancy. It's all straight. Leech. Oh. Nice picture. Oh my god. I think I know what you mean now about this part. Up and down, up and down. Play the game, up and down, up and down. The time has come. Hello! Does the word picture mean anything to you? You very, very clever and beautiful bird, you? <laughs> book! Picture book! Bye, bird. Allez, bye bye. Allez, bye bye. I need to get another glow stick. Damn it. Jane, it's time to play a little game. Hi, Nancy. Do you want to play a game? Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 no, 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 How no. How about a game of petroglyph punch? On your mark, get set, go! No, thank you. Please let me on. Hi, Nancy. Could I get another glow stick? Yes, but you know the rule. First, we have to play another game. First, we have to play another On game. your mark. Open that, set, open that. Go. Um, let's do easy. The hard, I did the hard already. Boom. Do I like that? Green, green. See a little bit of pink. See a little bit of green again. Not a lot of it though. Put that. Put that there. Put that there. That's what I'm talking about. Give me the glow stick now. Great score. Un glow stick pour vous, madame. <laughs> Messy. I should get going. Toodles. Toodle fucking Lou girl. We'll be back for another one soon.
pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. Picture book. Barbara Leach. I don't know how the Barbara Leach, like how that even, damn it. Book. Baby doll. Or D, no. What is with the hissing? Why is there steam hissing down here? What is that about? Lulu's gonna be like, I need a tree to keep playing. Oh, very, very clever and beautiful bird. What's up with the word baby? Bonnet, baby bonnet, yeah, baby, baby bonnet. Bye, bird. Cheerio. Cheerio. Give me that bonnet. a match game at this point. Is this gonna let me do this? Nice. Ant. Can we do heal? We can. Nice. I'm so glad we didn't have to keep going back and forth. Jesus Christ, where are we going? Jesus. Je Jesus. That's not demonic. It looks like the rest of this grid is on the other side of the wall. What? What do I need to do? Change them all down? Guess not. Okay. Well, we tried. Time for the click fest to begin. Click, 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 click. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh. You scared, scared me. me. Such a fright. <laughs> what were you doing in there? Okay. Uh, hey, Ethel. <laughs> found a secret passage off of the East Hall. So I suspected. These old homes usually have a secret passageway or two. Oh, I hate I how her mouth moves. No that looks really bad. Areas. They can be extremely dangerous. Wow. That's a lot of questions. But I'm curious about where they lead. Well, we wouldn't want you to end up like the proverbial cat, would we, Nancy? Please heed my warning. Please. It would be terrible if something happened to you. What you're teaching Jane looks pretty rigorous, but interesting. I believe young people need to have Yeah, it looks really bad. And uh, about every other lip animation animations don't usually look that bad in this game. Have you seen in any of the Nancy Drew games? The yes, the silent book. It's quite fascinating and very old. Jane's grandfather left it with me to give to her. It almost seems as if it's telling some Excuse kind of me. story. Yes, but a long lost story whose meaning will probably never be understood. That seems like you're trying to put it off, Have Evelyn. You ever heard the legend about the Beast of Blackmore? Of course. Everyone who grows That's her name, right? Evelyn? knows it. But it's just a myth. One that unfortunately proved to be quite I haven't wrote down Penguins. her name. Do you know much about the Pendleton family history? Only that they were Ethel. a very well-respected and talented family. Many of my ancestors were tutors of some of the Pendleton's, and I feel very honored to continue that tradition. Well, I won't keep you any longer. Goodbye, Nancy. Goodbye, Nancy. And then she just teleports away. <laughs> Goodbye, Nancy. <laughs> like Ender <laughs> Enderman sound. Why are you crying? Well, main question, why are you so hairy? Did you order this meat? I told you, I get hungry. Now go away. 
They added more flow with their movements with this game as opposed to stop motion movements like in Shadow Ranch. Hi, Linda. Yeah. Linda? I'll be going now. She's like, I was hungry. Girl, you didn't even eat it. <laughs> eat it if you're a werewolf, girl. Go to town, we ain't judging. Everybody's gotta eat. Yes. What do you think of Ethel Bosney? I think she's an odd lot, that one. She has no formal background in pedagogy or scholarship. Pedagogy? I'd be a much better influence on Jane were I her tutor, but Mrs. Drake insists on employing Ethel. I'll let you get back to your work. Valet! Valet. Okay, we've done a fair amount already. Um. Oh, I forgot that I'm trying to find out what, what her name was. The lady who got killed after his owners was executed for witchcraft but by so is it randolph i thought it was a lady where's a a is the down f oh no is there no a that must not be her name then i should have wrote it down oh that is so annoying is it angela <laughs> we heard it like three times or was it bridget Oh, I need to call that lady too. The lady um, in that book. I think there's something you haven't found in Jane's room that'll help. Okay, I'll take a little look ski in there again in a second after we talk to the book lady. This is Paliki. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. Could I ask you some questions about lycanthropy? I'm sorry, I'm about to leave for a seminar and I'm very busy. Besides, I've written two books and 12 articles on the subject. If you have questions, perhaps you should try reading one of them. It's just reading? your writing makes you sound so knowledgeable that I felt compelled to talk to you. Your attempt to win me over with flattery is as transparent as it is feeble. What has worked? What do you want to know? What do you consider to be the definitive signs that someone is turning into some kind of animal? Symptoms are relatively subtle. A dry mouth, a fatigue, impaired vision, and reduced blood flow to the skin. But reduced. This person pain? Yes, but the really disturbing thing is she won't let anyone see her. She just lies in bed all day behind this curtain. <laughs> and at night? What does she do at night? Does she transform into a wolf at night? You know that I saw something outside the night I arrived. Some kind of animal. And when I asked to see my friend, I was told she was unavailable. This sounds very promising. You don't really believe she's turning into some kind of creature, do you? Young lady, I believe the human mind is capable of far more than we can ever imagine. Pale skin, dry mouth, fatigue. The human mind is perfectly capable of causing the body to exhibit such symptoms, if it is so motivated. What if someone seems to be growing a lot of hair, like on her hands? What do you mean by a lot? I mean a lot. Well, to tell you the truth, psychosomatic hair growth is extremely unusual. In fact, as far as I know, it's unheard of. But it's still probably just a matter of mind over matter. Or should I say body, right? Matter oh, of certainly. mind over matter. But you might be well advised to keep an eye on her. And please, call me if anything happens. If anything like what happens? You'll know, Miss Drew. You'll know. What would motivate someone to... What kind of accent is that? Like ropes are under a great deal of stress. Due perhaps to the death of a loved one, marriage, divorce, or relocation, that sort of thing. They're emotionally vulnerable. Which means they're particularly open to the power of suggestion. Someone suggests they become a lycanthrope? Not in so many words, of course. Somehow, they get it in their head that they're destined to take another form. They see something, they read something, someone says something to them. Somehow, they come to believe they're supposed to undergo a physical metamorphosis, and so... In their weakened psychological do you think possibly seeing an ancient curse an that ancient turns curse people into lycanthropes would do it? You know, over the lycanthropic edge? Absolutely. Of course, a person cannot morph into XYZ if that person has no idea what XYZ is. She has to have some prior knowledge of the creature she thinks she has been condemned to become. A book, a website, a movie, a play, a casual... Oh, episode, wow, a it was that, that book that... What's her name? How she is to made her read. And behave in her altered form. Are temper tantrums symptomatic of lycanthropy? There are no hard and fast rules when it comes to lycanthropy. Or almost anything else, for that matter. 
But if someone believes that what they're changing into is irrational or has a bad temper, then they will exhibit irrational, ill-tempered behavior. Especially if this is contrary to their former nature. To their former Thanks nature. For your time. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. That was very informative. I think I know what you're talking about as well. It's like the family tree, right? Where is it? Why haven't I found that yet? Can I try the jigsaw puzzle? Let's see how quick your reflexes are. I'll time you. On your mark. Reflexes set, with go. a puzzle? Oh my lord. Five minutes. Bro. I'm not gonna get anything Too for this. Bad. You lose. Two tools. There it is. That's my family tree. Ask me anything about anyone. Go on, ask me. Tell me about Randolph. Randolph the Red, so named for his bright red hair, was considered a hero at the Battle of Portiers. For his heroism, King Edward III awarded him with the lands in the region called Penvelin. That's how we got our name. Interesting. Is he the one that died? I need the one that died, please. What is killed at the stake? It was one of the owners, right? Eleanor? What can you tell me about... Eleanor. Just that she was burned as a witch. Okay. It wasn't true. And Huge. Her father James died when he saw her die. And then the family fled to France. I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about this. Girl, you're the one who told me to ask you anything. Alright, Eleanor. We got a C I. M. L. I. L. Uh, in. Again. Give me in. No in. No bond. Eleanor. I mean, oh, you know. Give me the ore. Huge. M. Boom. Ella. Nor. Big money. Big money. We'll go right. What in the world? I don't remember. What is that? I don't remember any of this. I can see into the library. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is this? Any changes? Any changes? Hold on. Oh wow, it stays. I know that's not right. I'm just gonna leave that be for right this second. And go down this way. It just keeps going. This is crazy. Could you imagine living in a place that actually had all this? Oh. I don't know what I'm doing with these. I guess I gotta put them all upwards. I guess. Look towards heaven at midnight. Do I not remember any of this? I've played this game like three times. I, I fully don't remember that secret passage. That's crazy. I wanted to check out the statue. He's looking down. It's the right hand. Bro, we have to put this in every time? Did 
Did I not do that right? Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Boom, boom. Yeah, I did it wrong. No, I didn't. Is it right here? Oh. I didn't realize it was its own door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can turn left. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, why isn't it working? Start beating on the wall. Polly is a stupid bird. I know that's right. Polly is a stupid bird. Wait, can we not give her cakes because she's technically the one that gives us hints? Don't isn't yes. that like the only time that you give her treats? I'll let you get back to your work. Now we're not even gonna be able to give her a treat. Maybe there will be a point at some time where we do have to give her a treat. Is this open? No. We'll give Ned a quick call. Could you help oh. us? Hi, me again. Hi, what's up? You sure I'm not disturbing you? I mean, shouldn't you be studying or something? Shouldn't you be solving a mystery or something? I'm on a break. Got her is. So am I. What's up? I think Linda may be turning into the Beast of Blackmore. The Beast of Blackmore? In the 17th century, Eleanor Pendleton was rumored to have turned her husband into some kind of creature for discovering something that he shouldn't have. She was later executed for witchcraft. Anyway, while I was looking into her room through anyway. this peephole, I... You were spying on her through a peephole? No. Well, sort of. Okay, so maybe I was. But the point is, I got a glimpse of her hand, and it was all hairy. You're kidding me. Frankly, it was pretty shocking. And if the rest of her is anything like her hand, well, it's no wonder she won't let anyone see her. I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation. I have, I have no, no idea, idea what, what it could be. be. I'm sure there is one. I'll talk to you soon. I'm already looking forward to it. Let's talk to Miss Drake, and then if she doesn't give us anything, then I'm probably going to have yes. to call it. Goodbye. <laughs> yikes, 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 yikes. This must be some kind of well, but where's the water? Hmm. Doesn't work. Probably because the well's empty. Well. <laughs> hey, me too, girl. Me too. Uh oh. <sighs> Looks like it's time for another glow stick. I don't want to play another game, Nancy. This isn't right. This isn't fair to me or my children. Some type of slick combination. <gasps> I mean... Oh? The statue! It's... it's moving! What were all these for then? I wish that I could make you. Uh oh. No. Is it fully out? No. Shoot! Here we go again. I need a glow stick. Hi, Nancy. And just give it to me. Could I get another glow stick? Yes, but you know the rule. First, we have to play another game. <sighs> Lord. On your mark. Okay. Get set. Go. This isn't a bad one. I enjoy this one. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, friends. She is often heard to say. Give me that damn glow stick now. I scared Nigel out of here, didn't we? What are you doing up here, Nigel? Oh, he's looking left now. Should I be, should I know the puzzle that, <laughs> like should I know how to move the hands? Maybe this was some kind of security system that Eleanor devised when she was helping Cromwell's enemies get out of the country. Also, I'll tell you one thing, a glow stick is not going to light up a room like that. I don't know. 
maybe it's like an industrial grade. Okay, it's looking to the right. But he has moved forward. Uh, what did Nancy say? When I depress the button that's in the middle of those suits of armor, hands, and then press one of the fingers, a bell plays somewhere in the house. No doubt the charm ch No doubt they're the charm chimes that Nigel mentioned. That one? Okay. Um, <laughs> I feel really stupid. Even if I got it, I don't know what I would do with that thing. I did it. Wait, was that actually it? Was it just find the differences? And what do I do with this? It's just a. Oh, it was a key. He said it was a key to something. Stick it in the thing. Yeah. Somebody on Overwatch the other day was like, "You're definitely a band kid." Looks like you? a piece is missing. And I was like, "Uh, no." I need something else for this. No, I don't believe I am. <gasps> Wait, what the fuck? goes there it seems so that didn't progress me did it that was probably like a late game thing yes this conservatory is very beautiful but why isn't there any water in the well I'm not quite sure we never really used it but it was always full of water that is until my brother died and then it just dried up most of these plants were brought over by my grandfather he was quite the adventurer I remember when he brought back Lulu from the Amazon. At first, Mother wouldn't allow us to play with it because it had picked up too many unsuitable words from sailors. But it gradually learned proper manners. Goodbye. Lulu the pleasure is all like mine, child. The pleasure is all mine, child. Ah, there you are. I'm sorry to inform you that I shall soon be leaving Blackmore. I just have a few things to take care of, and then I shall bid you adieu. Why? Where are you going? I have good reason to believe this place is genuinely haunted. There's no way I'm staying here one minute longer than I have to. Thankfully, I've finished most of my research and have enough to start my book. I'll let you get back to your work. Farewell. Damn, Nigel. I didn't mean to scare you that bad, man. Sorry. I don't know who to talk to anymore. Linda, what do you have going on? Do you have something to be worried Linda? About? How are you doing? I've been hearing things. Music. Very faint. Very brief. Out of nowhere. Going nowhere. Like bells in a faraway church. Actually, that was me. You? It's kind of a long story. You know, no matter how incredible or frightening things may appear, there's almost always a logical, sometimes even simple, explanation. You don't know everything, Nancy Drew. And in my case, you don't know anything at all. I want you to go home. It's for your own good. I can't go home until I have something to tell your mother. Just tell her I've had some problems adjusting to my new life, but I've accepted my fate and now everything's fine. In fact, I'll call her and tell her that myself. In any case, Please leave my room and don't bother to come back. Okay. There's no mystery you here. Tell me Just twice. fate. I, get I have nothing more you. to say to you. Nothing. Sounds good, girly pop. Do I need to be doing more stuff in my own room? I feel 
like I should know how to do at least one of these puzzles by now. Oh! North Full Red. Hey, that's something. Okay, um... <laughs> So there's a dragon, cheetah, lion, bunny, Pisces. Can I flip it over? Is there anything on the bottom? No. Let's see. None of those. A lynx. Oh, this is it. He's north? Is this the map? Snake on top. Links in the middle. Bunny on bottom. Lion Pisces. Snake is full red. Full red. Left red. Right green. I think this might be it. This is Ooh, that scared me. Nice, we opened the puzzle box. Put that on the telescope. This thing. Have we seen a telescope? There's one in here, isn't it? There's a stand for it. So we need to find a telescope as well. Oh lordy lordy. Fun telescope. Maybe I can talk to Mrs. Petron. See if she has anything to tell me. One second. One second. Okay. Hello. Mrs. Hello, Mrs. Petrov. It's Nancy Drew. What's happened? How's Liz? Instantly, just like, what's happened? She's fine. I mean, she's no worse, at least as far as I can tell. That's good news, I suppose. Oh wow. What can I do for you? I guess I should have been talking to her. Did Linda say anything to you about finding a secret passageway? No. Linda told you she found a secret passageway? Yes. Do you think she wasn't telling the truth? I don't know. Given her fragile state of mind, what's true and what she thinks is true may well be two different things, that's all. The yeah, good right. news is, I found a secret passageway too. So Linda wasn't imagining things. That's encouraging. The bad news is, I didn't see what Linda says she saw inside it. Oh, and we're back to square one. When you were here visiting Linda, did you ever see or hear anything odd? Yes, Mrs. Drake. <laughs> Why do you ask? Blackmore Manor looks like the kind of place that most people would assume is haunted, don't you think? Frankly, I was too worried about Linda to take notice of much of anything there. Except that most of the rooms I saw looked like they'd been decorated by a medieval monkey. I'm afraid Linda monkey. has stopped talking to me. What do you mean? She pretty much told me to get lost. Oh dear. Well, she may want you to leave, but I don't. 
Not until you find out what's happening to her. Did you meet Nigel Mukherjee when you were here? Not really. Mrs. Drake told me who he was, but whenever I passed the library, he was always on his cell phone, talking as if he didn't want anyone to hear. You know, furtively. Could you hear what he was saying? Not a word. He was taking great pains to make sure he was not overheard. Say, you don't suppose he has something to do with what's been happening to Linda, do you? I'm not sure yet. I'm still, you know, gathering facts. I'd forgotten all about gathering him until just facts. now. He was up to something. I don't know what, but he was up to something. Goodbye, Mrs. Petrov. Thanks, Nancy. Something fits in here, but what? 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 I'm gonna have to draw all the fucking symbols, aren't I? We've already got to flip the page. So fun. Aries? Pisces. So that's the order. I mean, I don't know if it has anything to do with anything. Pop that bad boy in. Are we just putting in order? Is that all this is? Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. I gotta hold this up. goes next, that one goes next, this one, this one, I genuinely did not believe that that was uh, the way to go about it. Goes on one of the thingies. So, am I just stuck again? Like, this is one of the mini puzzles. Looks like a piece is missing. It's just gonna be a pipe, isn't it? Yep. I don't know. Man, there's so many things that I have in mind. I've got one, two. Something goes here. Looks like a piece is missing. It's an arrowhead. There's one there. There's a Zeus bolt. And then a head. I've got to find all of those things. Pretty cool. That's Edward. Kind of sound like the drag race. Shade sound. Nancy did not just read me for filled out here on this runway when I helped her sew that hem up. Oh no. Oh, what's that line? Interesting. Uh oh. <sighs> Looks like it's time for another glow stick. I just got this one. Sorry that I'm so quiet. I'm genuinely just trying to think of like something to do to move this forward. Hmm. Hi, Nancy. Jane, did there used to be a telescope in my room? Mm-hmm. I took it outside to look at the stars. But if you want it back, you'll have to play a game with me. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> okay, what's the game? If you get the puzzle done in time, I'll return the telescope. If not, then you'll have to try again. How exciting and exhilarating. We have to do a 20-piece jigsaw puzzle. Very, very excited. I'm getting a cookie.
five minutes. Oh wow, we have five minutes. This is kind of a crazy puzzle, bro. Oh, it locks into place. Never mind. We're good. Again, the game has lulled me into this feeling like there is a gun to the back of my head. Two minutes. Uh, that's right. There. You won. Good show. I'll put the telescope back in your room first chance I get. Could I get another glow stick? Telescope. Yes, but you know the rule. First, we have to play another game. On your mark, get set, go! Uh, it's always petroglyph punch, ain't it? <laughs> Hooray! You've won! Ta-da! Thank you. I should get going. Come back soon. Okay. So we got the telescope now. What time is it? 7 p.m. Man, honestly. Let's just skip to another day. Maybe something will happen. Yeah, <laughs> Three fifteen, isn't it? I should get up and look around. No, Nancy, it's okay to just stay in bed sometimes. It's probably for your own safety. <laughs> oh wow! Who is that? Did you see the reflections? That hmm. actually looked I really wonder if good. these are what made those red eyes I saw outside the night I arrived. Ooh. Ooh. Messing with her plants is probably not a good idea. Maybe I should try feeding it something. Oh, just move it. Like... Highly aggressive plant. Like that's a plant. That's snapping at us. She's probably sleeping. Was there any reason to do this? Not yet. What? I didn't see this. Am I supposed to be putting these in a specific order? Plutus Ergo S. Where have I seen that? It feels like I haven't seen these symbols anywhere. 
Yes, that's what it is. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I really don't. Also, it's 3.15 in the morning. Why is it bright outside? Is that just something they didn't think about? Is it really bright outside in England in the morning? What was that? Scratch marks. Like something was trying to get into my room. <laughs> what the fuck? That's kind of crazy. Leaving scratch marks on this expensive What's that? He was Randolph's grandson and the first initiate. Odor did not have the proper qualities for Randolph's instruction. Because he was stupid? No, Jane. It's because Randolph believed that the proper qualities skip every generation. We talked about that, remember? I guess. Milo was a great soldier, just like his grandfather. And with his grandfather's help, he was victorious at Khan. That was a battle fought in 1417, during the Hundred Years' War. That's right. But I don't understand something. The Hundred Years' War lasted longer than a hundred years, right? So why do they call it that? Why don't they call it the 116-year war, huh? Oh my, look at the time. We need to go over your geometry. Please open your book to page 46 and read silently. It's crazy. Was that important? Like, should we have listened to that? find something well I'll do that I'll, I'll try and order some food and see if I can give it to the plant yes do you believe that Blackmore Manor is haunted no of course not I've lived here for many many years and I can tell you without a doubt that absolutely no ghosts walk these halls an occasional odd creak here and there yes but no like ghosts but I do sometimes wonder if those who have passed away remain with us, lingering on. I miss my brother terribly, and I sometimes wonder if he is in some way still here. Goodbye. Run along! Run along! Let's order some food. Actually, let's talk to Hugh, see if he has anything to say. Hugh Penvalin. Hello, Mr. Panvelin. It's Nancy Drew again. Yes, good to hear from you. I am a bit pressed for time, however. What do you know about the secret passageways here at Blackmoor? Only that they're hundreds of years old and are undoubtedly dangerously decayed. Jane has been ordered to stay out of them. Fortunately, it's highly doubtful she'll even figure out how to get in them. How many passageways are there? One or two, I suppose. I'm really not sure. I vaguely recall blundering into one when I was a child, but it was very dark and ended rather abruptly, and I found the whole experience to be rather unremarkable. It's when I told my father what I discovered, he merely shrugged, agreed that the passageways were dark, decrepit, and pointless, suggested that I stay out of them, and that was the end of it. Are you aware that those columns in the Great Hall can be opened up? The columns in the Great Hall open up? Why on earth would they do that? I'm not sure yet. And more to the point, what do the columns in the Great Hall have to do with Linda? I'm not sure about that either. My mother-in-law's counting on you to find out what's wrong with Linda. I'm counting on you. Linda's, Linda's counting, counting on you. On you. I do hope you won't allow you. yourself to get distracted. Are you the one who hired Ethel to be Jane's tutor? No, that was my aunt's doing. Mrs. Drake? Yes, she absolutely insisted. She said the Bossonies had been tutoring the Penvalins for centuries and that I was duty-bound to continue the tradition. She kept saying that it's what her brother would have wanted. Her brother being Alan, your father? Yes, and I must say I've been quite pleased with Ethel. She's a fine young woman and Jane seems to enjoy her lessons, strange as they are. What do you mean by strange? Ethel demands that Jane study history. Obscure history. Penvalin history. They discuss events that even I, as a direct descendant, find inconsequential, 
to say nothing of deadly dull. What do you know about the Beast of Blackmore? Pure medieval fiction, the product of little minds in an era of dangerously little education. I have forbidden mm. Ethel to so much as mention it to Jane. Where did you hear about it? The man doing research in the library? Nigel Mukherjee? Another of my aunt's ideas. The fact that the Penvelins have never had a book written about them has been a perpetual source of social embarrassment for her. Do you know much about him? He was recommended by a friend, Drake and he has assured us over and over that the book he publishes will cast only a positive light upon the Penvelin name. Although, come to think of it, I never have seen the contract he agreed to sign, which was to put that promise in writing. It was nice talking to you. Do keep me posted. Do keep me posted. Can I have the dog's eye? That'll make me Gooseberry right proud. Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder? You bet. All right, then. We'll come round and leave it at your Rory. Your Rory. Baked potato! Baked potato. Okay, um, I'm going to skip forward just a little bit. I know that he's not going to deliver the food while I'm in here, but... Mm -hmm. Hi, Nancy! Have you ever seen these before? No, what are they? I was hoping you could tell me. I found them in the hallway. I've never seen those before in my life. I should get going. Au revoir! It sounds like somebody who may have seen them before in their life. Oh my god, I hate that we were just supposed to interpret this book. Personally, I can't do it. I don't know what I'm doing. So this... Moon, fear not, but draw from the strength of absent friends. And toast to their memories and happiness and wonder. Charity be thy guiding angel. I feel like that's pretty important. I want to take a picture of it instead of writing it down. Nancy has a phone. I'm sure that phone has a camera. It's 2004. She's a Nebo baby. Okay. So. As the moon rises. So I guess it'll have to be like this. As the moon rises upon thee, fear not, but draw upon the strength of absent friends. Strength, right there. Draw upon the strength of absent friends and toast to their memories and happiness and wonder. Toast to their memories. Happiness and wonder, I guess the gesture. Alright. That makes sense in my head. Happiness and wonder with the start of a night. Night. Let charity be that guiding angel. Oh, is that a toast? Because those are goblets. as well. That's Father Time. Dawn. Geometer. If you're not the ravages of Father Time. Moon, 
strength, toast, night charity, night charity, angel, father time, or angel geometry, father time. Oh wait, since that's important now, I just move all these up and over, and then moon train toast, okay, angel calendar, okay, volley time, volley, goes like that, that, and, and, okay, see, now we're running into another issue, no, we're not going to do that, wait, now we're, damn it, we're close, I cannot do that, do that, night, charity, I am like I'm like two or three like four or five moves away from finishing it but I keep messing it up moon strength toast <laughs> It feels like I'm not progressing in this game in the slightest. I'm at the Exxon filling up my Toyota. I'm at the Exxon filling up my Toyota. seen these symbols. One sad face. Two is void. symbols it stopped working oh my lord as soon as we need it i need something to wind it up do we have something i need something to wind it up uh, well how are we going to get something to wind it up nancy mrs drake yes I'd like to play the card machine in the Great Hall, but it's broken. It's not broken. I removed its crank, as it was proving to be too much of a distraction for Jane. I suppose I could see where it's gone to. But in the meantime, be a dear and do something for me, would you? Sure. Sure! Do you see that hodgepodge of plants over there? They're my prize seedlings. I had them perfectly arranged in that box, so I could easily move them about to catch the light. Unfortunately, Jane took all of them out when I wasn't <laughs> looking. And now for the life of me, I cannot get them back in the and box so that they all fit. Why don't you done. give it a try while I see about that crank? Very if we both succeed, we shall both be happy, if you catch my meaning. Remember, they must all fit in that box! 
Yes, ma'am. I'll do my best. I'm gonna, of course, rotate them. Do a little bit of that. Do a little bit of that. No, give that to me. Please give it to me. Please give it to me. There. Nice. Okay. Give me the key. Give me the key. Where's the key? Why did you walk Ow! away? I felt like I was actually doing something. This is Dre. Did she leave it here? No, she didn't. Mrs. Drake, why'd you leave me? Guess she's not in her room. Where did you go? Mrs. Drake, I will go to sleep just to get you quicker. I was about to say, is there, was there another... Mrs. Drake. Yes? I managed to get all those seedlings back in the box. Wonderful. And I managed to find that crank. There you go. Great. Thank you. Goodbye. Good evening. Thank you, Queen. Yay. Those symbols look familiar. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe she'll give that to me if I win. I don't want to play Go Fish. I don't want to play Go Fish. I don't want to do it. I know no want. Do you have any sad faces? I know that's right. Do you have any? Uh, do you have any of these? You know I don't have a world, right? I don't think it's the others. I still have a. I still have a. Do you have a Pegasus? You do. You have all the Pegasus? Ooh, I think I'm here. I've got a stack board. Um. So she just runs a board on me. I don't want to do anything. Please hurry up. Where did you get all of these? Because I've asked for these multiple times. She's cheating with me. That was crazy. That was crazy clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't expect. 
effect that we would have to do all those. Just work. Just work. Just work. Just work. She has one of those matches, she's just gonna take it. I just asked for the parrot. How do you? She runs a board on me. This is a game of luck, man. This is frustrating. It's four to five. Oh, this stupid RNGS game. Incredibly frustrating. And there's no way to skip through it. It's just you have to sit with the the dread of it. How does she get to go again? How does she get to go again? She didn't... Did I have a sad mask and she took it from me and I didn't realize? Oh my lord, we, I think we've already lost this one. She is a big cheater. I'll wind her up, I give her life again, and she, she chooses to do this to me. And then that gives me that, and she has both sad masks as well. What was that? I swear a light just flashed. Me and my heart drop. Jesus Christ. Nice! We finally did it. Oh wait, never mind. There's still one more match. See, that feels very good after the last three games that I had with her. Now I get to run the I board won. on you. All right, Betty, pay up. Give me the arrowhead now. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we have one, two, three. Four. We have four things for the columns. Desiree, I have a very quick question. I know that this is the password. This coat of arms is a password to Alan's computer. The first time that I spoke to Lulu, I had the ability to ask her what a phrase meant in Latin, and ever since then, Hello. there's like Bye, bird. no conversation Don't leave me. I love you. Lulu. So, did the game glitch out? And that was my one chance to figure out the coat of arms situation for the, the computer passcode? Because I have no idea how else to find the passcode anymore. I don't remember the passcode being this hard of a, a thing to figure out. Passcode is just the phrase. Is it just the phrase in Latin? Are you serious? Am I an idiot? Prayers. You don't have to translate it. Oh my god. This whole time I've been running around being like, how am I going to figure out how to translate it? I never just put it in. Not that one. This is Alan, isn't it? I'm looking at the wrong person. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh. That one does look way more uh, modern than any of the other ones. That guy. I thought it would be. Welcome, my adventurous friend. Don't tell my sister, but there are ghosts in Blackmoor Manor. Thirteen of them so to be exact. The, the problem I is they're very it. shy, so they only come out when it's very late at night, usually just after midnight. And even then, they only show up in quiet places, like the Great Hall and the hallways and the conservatory. What's worse, they'll only come out for a very short period of time. But if you can find and touch all 13 ghosts in the time you're allotted, come back here and I'll give you a prize, one which I guarantee you'll enjoy. So who's ready to go on a ghost hunt? Oh dear, my watch tells me that the ghosts are not likely to show up right now. Come back between midnight and 4 a.m. Wow, well, we can till actually then. progress in the game now. That's very exciting. <laughs> So who's ready to go on a ghost hunt? No. Remember, you mustn't waste any time. Our little chums won't stay visible for long. So, on your mark, get set, go! Let's get it. Oh wow, that takes a long way. Got one. This is a really cute uh, puzzle in the game. I really enjoy this one. Three down, ten to go. Seven, look at number seven. Who wants to be seven? Still need to figure out how to find someone to get left. Guess there's only two in here. Down, three to go. I just barge into a room. I'm looking for ghosts. Polly and the stupid bird. 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 Blanking a tiny bit. You're oh, gonna need a bigger bolt. Oh, wait, no. It's one more. It was 13, not 12. Why did I think it was 12? Did my timer run out? I hope not. Sorry. Pergamentum. Exit. Sorry, time's up. Looks like you weren't quite fast enough Damn. for our bashful little friends. Better luck next time. Farewell till then. I was missing one. Yeah, um. Playing through this again, I think it's a very strange uh, setup. Who's ready to go in a ghost hunt? Remember, you mustn't waste any time. Our little chums won't stay uh, visible for long. Like. So, on your mark, get I, set, I just, go! I think a big part is just, I really like uh, small... I, I just that love one. games. The story is kind of cringy and most it's fun. Three down, ten to go. It's good, clean. Um, there's one right here. 
the nicest way to put it. Five year stint of I'm not sure what they were doing. Both are very Ten good. Down. I Three really go. like the video that I did. Oh, there, ghost number nice. 13. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I think a lot of it had to do with uh, Brittany Cox's voice acting. I liked her voice. It's just the delivery of it. If you just put your soul into it. I don't know, it's like she never played the games. Congratulations, you're one we of the all few have the silent have agreement the that Nancy Manor. sounds As like a, a middle-aged woman, but that's kind of like the joy secret. of it. I don't know. I always forget that she's um, like a 16 or an 18 year old. And pull below the vase with the tree. But a word to the wise, if you're wearing a hat, hang on to it, have fun. Ooh. So exciting. Woo! <laughs> that it? The timeline of Nancy is non-existent. For real. She, she's not confined by the constraints of time or space like us mortals. So we found the slide. There's a target on the slide. We don't really have anything for that right this second. Oh, I could probably get some mealworms from Jane's room to feed the, uh, plant conservatory. Well, and how is my little purple tiger today? I love Mrs. Drake. I have a love-hate relationship with that woman. Drop my pen. Uh, do you have anything to say to us? Any smooth news? Can you hold on for a minute? Back! Get back! Can you get them back in his cage? No, the wolfbane isn't working either. Wolfbane. I'm sorry, uh, one of my patients has escaped. Can you call me back later? Thanks. For lichen throat patients. That's hilarious. It's a pain. You have all the information. This one makes me feel very dumb. I have all the information. Wasn't even a British subject. That's all I know. He was a nobody. A French nerd. Who is Malachi? He was a doctor That's of a medicine joke. and did a lot of research on icky skin diseases. Happily, I'm blessed with perfect skin. Okay, Jane. Thanks. <laughs> Luckily, God kissed the sun kissed skin. With what is currently on screen, can I figure out how to do this puzzle? And that is a question. Yes, I can figure it out from what's currently on the screen. Is it just turning them up? I feel like I, I did that. I'm surprised how much lives rent free in your head. That's, that's what I was thinking. I was like, damn, you, you're really a scholar on this one. And that's a good thing. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, that's like a superpower. I feel like I remember a lot from these games and then I'll start to play through it and I'm just like, oh. Wow. Yes. Hint. Please. <laughs> yeah. I guess this is just the life of a senior detective. You guys wouldn't understand. The other door should be done first. Okay. Looks like I won't be needing any more of Jane's glow sticks. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, oh wow, that opens on both sides. It's very intricate. That's a, that's a little terrifying. <laughs> that's a little scary. Haunted Carousel was very good. I, I actually had one of my friends play that at school. 
one day with me. We ended up playing it for like a week. We got a lot of computer labs. Uh, this feels end of gamey. Oh no. Oh my gosh, the room is moving! Oh no. I didn't write, I didn't take a picture of that. The oh, floor is buckling! Yeah. Oh my god, dude, I don't remember any of this, that's crazy. What in the world, okay. So, let's go uh, grab a picture of that real quick. Okay. Maybe, maybe this uh, diagram will make sense to me once I get back into the room. Felicity, the door, uh, the door. Okay, we're in this one. Boy. Oh my gosh, the room is moving. So can we, oh, boy meets girl. I don't know how this goes. Hogwarts. Dude, that's awesome. You'll have to tell me how it goes. Boy meets girl meets supposedly moon. We need to meet the moon. It's either four or five. Oh! So, I need to go through four maybe? Or is this just showing me where I am? There's a speed cheat through these rooms. If you get stuck enough, I can share. Interesting. Okay. Is this just showing me? That's a map. Okay. So this is a map. Does it update with where I am? I'm the red dog. Okay. Very interesting. Oh, dude, that is really cool, actually. Look towards heaven at midnight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is. So I can go that way. No, I can't. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Interesting. So open and close the room a few times. That's constantly moving. Open, close. I'm gonna go right there. Get on to it. Now I'm here. That's a certain demise, and it didn't move. Oh, you have to be in that room to move it. Interesting, interesting. Will that make a move? It will. So now, it's, it's right behind me, isn't it? Oh no, is that the way out? Is that the way that we came from? I assumed that this was a triangle door that we came from. No, okay, it was the right way, nice. And we've got alchemy! <laughs> we've got alchemy that I didn't write down. Oh god. Weird symbols. 
Maybe knowing what that snake symbol means will help me figure out what the others mean. Ouroboros. Nancy, just start pressing things. We don't have to go investigate everything, okay? Just press things. You'll figure it out. Well, she's locked. So, in that case, we just have to get into the spinny room now that we have the map. Open and close doors over and over. Oh no, did I go the wrong way? I did go the wrong way. Damn it. It's one more time, I think. Yeah. And it's gonna make the room spin. God, we have to keep getting glow sticks. At this point, Nancy just should just take the damn book. Maybe that book doesn't mean as much as I think it does, and I'm trying to derive meaning from nothing. Um, let's see. Who would talk to me about that? Maybe Nigel? He doesn't really say much. Anymore. Yes. Do you know what the symbol of a snake eating its tail signifies? The Ouroboros? It's a very old image and is usually associated with alchemy. You really do come up with the strangest questions, Nancy. I'll let you get back to your work. Or maybe you're just Ballet. asking the right questions, Nigel. Nancy has to be cooking up some gold here in a minute. Okay. Let's see, let's see. You know something I've been watching recently and I've really been enjoying? Uh, the Great Pottery Throwdown. It is very interesting. It's kind of like the Great British Bake Off, but a little bit more competitive, I feel like. You know they don't even, you know they don't even win any money or anything? They just go to get a trophy? and like have a pat on the back pretty much get put into a pressure cooker like that this is a lot of stuff routinely process or combine substances in order to create new ones for instance they collected the oily material that forms naturally as sulfur bearing rocks weather distilled it to make green vitriol iron sulfate and then distilled distilled green vitriol am i gonna have to like make all of this I, I guess there's really no reason to even write it down because it's just going to be on the phone okay so now i know what i'm supposed to be making let's see alchemy we are looking for aquafortis which is Nitric acid. To make nitric acid, you need iron sulfate, vitriol, nitrate, which is that bad boy. And oh no, do we have to cook the whole thing? Oh no, I don't want to. Oh, there is nitrate. Okay, nitrate, vitriol, nitrate or vitriol. Nitrate. Cook that bad boy up. There we go. Next up we have... I know I made this joke on last or, uh, Secret of Shadow Ranch, but it's so funny. Because I would be the exact same way that Nancy is right now. With like phone in hand looking up every single thing that I need to be doing. Three parts Spirit of Salt were combined with one part Aqua Fortis. It would create Aqua Regia. Is that bad boy... And aqua fortis. One, two, three. Uh, do 
I have to mix this stuff together for aquafortis. So what did you have to combine to make aquafortis? Vitriol and nitrate to make aquafortis. So that would be one part. Three parts. So is it just what I did already on that? Nice, okay. We have to make some what looks like estrogen. We're cooking up estrogen right now. And we got a little estrogen on the mic. Mercury. And lime was created by burning chalk or limestone, while mercury was attained by burning cinnabar. Cinnabar. Fire. Cause we have to make some mercury. And then last but not least, distilled vinegar. It's made by... I don't know, I'm gonna just throw these bad boys together. Oh my god! Oops. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> that was very loud, I'm so sorry. That was probably ear-piercingly loud. What was this one? Uh... I think it was one, two, three, four, five. And then some bar fire. Is it actually like making it behind the door? That's hilarious. Fire, air, and cover your ears. Oops. That's so incredibly loud. Why is it so loud? Still vinegar is two buttons. Distilled and vinegar. Um that looks vinegary. Wouldn't you distill it by boiling it and then with fire? No. Oops. There's a distillation button. Damn it. Putrefaction. Distillation. There is a f distillation button. That's crazy. And then is does vinegar have its own? It does. Okay. Ah, uh, it just can't read. Is that the distillation? Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then last but not least, we have to make Heinz 76 sauce. Um, yeah, we'll have to burn that. Okay, so probably isn't right. We'll do this. Is that right? No? It didn't blow up. I didn't hear what sound it made. Quick lime, we don't even have to wait. It's about burning chalk or limestone. Okay. Oh wow, we're already here. Wow. Is the game almost over? A keyhole. A keyhole. That's what you want to call it, girl. Go right ahead. Whoa. Sounds like the big guy out there just took a step. <laughs> Sounds like the big guy huh, out there. For one big drink of water, aren't you? <laughs> Nancy? What do you mean by that? Bum, 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 bum. 
My dear initiate. My dear initiate, congratulations for progressing this far. Your goal may not may not be in sight, but it is very, very close. I leave this for you because the the thaner can be daunting. Jesus Christ, Justin, you can read cursive and not a little discouraging. Just bear in mind that to use it, you must first light it, and to light it, you must give it four things, earth and liquid form, air, water, and fire. Should you require more information, consult the... What is Libyach? Something even my grandfather Corbin apparently did with some frequency. Penelope Penvalin. Wow, this letter was written more than 200 years ago. Damn. I regret that we shall never meet, but you will get a glimpse into my life when you encounter my contribution to the security of our treasure. Likewise, were I somehow able to project myself into the future, I would learn something about you. What? What does that say, Anaya? Were I to come across the obstacle which you will have, which you will have created. Like warm manner is indeed the sum of the hearts and minds of all who have dwelt here. Welcome. That's a pretty cool letter. Below is Master of the Wings. Oh wow, that was a lot. Lydia, Black War Manor has remained largely intact all these years. Would that I could lay claim to my birthright and live here openly, but Lydia tells me that my grandmother's name still, steer, still stirs fear and hatred in the hearts of nearby villagers villagers and consuls of dissertation. Perhaps Philip will name me. Upper level people? Bell lock, moving rooms. It's a bell lock over there. Did I miss that? Welcome to your initiate, pride of the Pimblin heritage. Here you will face many trials, but persevere. For your reward shall be the knowledge of those who have passed before you and the honor of those who come. You have demonstrated your worthiness by negotiating the moving by negotiating the moving rooms and mastering the alchemy tests which our father Albert created to protect this laboratory. Now you will help protect our heritage by creating yet another test for new initiates to pass. For my part, I have set this tradition in motion with the establishment of the rules of Pimbalan inheritance and have enlisted the Bosony family to oversee our efforts and discoveries. There are six columns in the Great Hall, each hiding a brave knight who will direct the movement of the oil of enlightenment in this forge in which a key shall be created to reveal the secret of our father, Randolph. I love how Jack just said geyser. <laughs> that was it. Yes, yes, it is. It is I. It is I. The secret must be well guarded. Hide the final solution to unlock this, the secret in your coat of arms and in the silent book. Let my words, woven in cloth, be the guide to finding the first key to open the columns decorated with Jupiter's mighty bolt. Oh wow, it just keeps going. But the forge cannot work without being tempered by water. If the well is empty, a devious log hidden in the passages underneath the manor will return to its watery state. By moving the hands that protect my home with their alarm chimes, my father's work will release the wand. If only I had this book ages ago. To our ancestral Wow, I... Do I keep reading these? I guess so. Definitely. But no force. No, okay. Woo, woo, woo. They just keep doing it and making it. We don't like lore in this house. We like puzzles. This looks like some kind of medieval forge. <laughs> Nancy just read like 20 minutes of literature about the forge that the Blackmore Manor people have made. She's like, wow, this is maybe a forge. This looks like some kind of ancient mold. By pulling out different plugs, I can create different patterns in the mold. Looks like a chunk of metal. Oh wow, are we gonna have to forge? Oh my god. How do I not remember any of this game? This is the worst part, you blacked it out to save yourself, probably. God knows. 
lower level. Unless I'm moving. Moving arms. Bell lock. Try it off that way. I guess we can go look at the bell lock. So there's a bell lock over here? This reminds me of that picture I saw in the mutus lever. I'm supposed to press the button under the blue triangles I want to move, then press the one under the group I want to move them to, until I wind up with a group of just four triangles. Okay. Five. Three. Interesting. Three. How can I split these? Because it moves the whole thing. Oh, just like that, I guess. Interesting, interesting. So that gives us one. What is it filling with? Is that the water? If I open the door now, I'll flood the place. Uh. Bro, what? If I open the door now, I'll flood the place. Okay, well, I guess that's the water done. There's only that one that was a people. Yeah, she's... Linda's chilling right now. She's not eating her roll steak. Oh, Jesus Hello? Christ, that's great. Hi, it's Ned. I've been dying to know how things are going there. What's the latest? This place may look like a staid English manor, Ned, you but it's scared really me. just one big fun house. Why do you say me. that? Because every time I turn around, there's another door that I have to figure out how to open. This one door went to a slide that took me back down to the first floor. No kidding. And behind the last door I found, I discovered this old forge. Forge? Isn't the thing you use to heat metal and make swords and stuff? Right. So what are you going to do now? Well, actually, the forge looks like something I saw in that strange picture book Jane has that I told you about before, which means I should probably check it out more thoroughly. Probably hasn't been used for centuries. That's the thing. It looks like it has been used recently. I mean, relatively recently. Certainly within the past 50 years or so. What would someone be using a forge to make in this day and age? There was also this big keyhole in the lab. What about, what about a, key? a key? No key. Well, there you go. Maybe that's what has to be forged. The key that goes in that keyhole? That'd be my guess. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, you for uh, the explanation, Ned. Do I have anything to throw at this? To throw at this? Throw the glow stick. Nope. Can't throw the glow stick. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. I guess I should explain. I see you did not heed my warning. I realize you're a very curious young woman, but know this. These passageways can only lead to misfortune for the uninitiated, and I am not only speaking of physical peril. Ooh, so scary. Would being initiated have anything to do with secret rituals in the middle of the night? Nancy, I know you're a good person and mean well. And I understand you feel compelled to discover what is happening to Linda. But I also have certain duties which may conflict with yours. I will not interfere as long as I am prohibited from doing so. But know that the instant I receive the word, you will no longer be welcomed in Blackmore. Good day. Jesus Christ, and she teleports away. Somebody's angry. What are you so angry about? Is Nigel still here? Huh, looks like Nigel forgot his laptop. He didn't forget his laptop. Come on now. Any updates? There is updates. Is there updates? Did they already give it oil? Is that what they were doing with the ritual? Is that the, cons is that the earth that's considered to be given? 
I don't know, I don't know. Hi, Jane. Nancy, I'm so afraid someone just sent me this horrid message. Look at this. This house is now mine, so of this be <laughs> warned. Thou hast angered me and shall soon be gone. Now look on the other side. <laughs> that symbol is a rune. Right side up, it means protection like a shield. But there, it's upside down. It means I'm in danger. I wouldn't take this seriously, Jane. Someone in this house is up to no good, and I'm determined to find out who it is. Are you really? I know that's right. I mean, none of these weird things started happening until you came to Blackmore. How do I know it's not you who's behind all this? I she think poses a me. fine question. I think not. I don't think I can trust anyone right now. I wish I'd never come back to this place. It's old and cold, and I hate it. And I hate... I just don't want to be here. I know you're upset, but please, you have to trust me. I'm on your side. I should get going. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right, girly pop. Damn, I ain't done nothing to you. So is this telling you how to do the fire and the water and stuff? Fire is triangle. Air is triangle with a line. Water is upside down triangle. Earth is upside down with a line. So we got water done. That's what we did with the locks. So next up, we have got earth, which is this. And I have that drawn down. But I don't know where that is exactly. Or what it could mean right at this moment. Which is the, the man that's moving. But we can't do anything with that yet. And that's interesting. I wonder if it's different now that there's water. And then this is fire. Which doesn't make a lot of sense. What does that symbol mean? Mercury? How are we going to get a hold of Mercury? This as well. I wish you could just take the damn book. I'm doing more with it than you are. These are all a part of the, um, crest. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. I'm taking a picture of this one. Sorry. Let's go look around at the crest downstairs. The family crest. That's the second one. But what would these mean? Uh, I have no idea what this could mean. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. How do they correlate though? That's my question. Oh. Well, there's the ball to throw. Let's do that real quick, I guess. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Nancy, come on now. Don't talk about Polly like that. There we go. Ooh, clock. We got a clock. We got the clock. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five. Six? Do we have all six now? For the... Pipes? Oh! The spout's open! So now there's water again. It's no longer... Look at that. They're so pretty. Someone deliberately set this up so they could use this squirt gun to hit those tiles over there. Okay. What? <gasps> Weird. No. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Frog. Oh no, it's different every time. Well, that's kind of RNG heavy. I'm 
minesweeper as queen. I thought he was supposed to hop in the boat. How am I supposed to know? I thought he was supposed to hop in the boat. I'm so scared to click the boat. Is boat death every time? Okay. We're not going towards the boat anymore. Looks like we're going nowhere. Okay. Aww. Please don't give me a level 2. The frog speaketh. Oh. That was a shield. Oh, I don't want to do that again. Have you seen? The well is filled up again. It's very curious, but, but quite, quite wonderful. wonderful. Goodbye. The pleasure is all mine, child. Are you the prettiest spider plant? <laughs> um, I don't know which way the pipes are supposed to face. I don't think I really did any rhyme or reason. That looks right. Is this a clock? I don't know which way it's supposed to go. I don't really have any type of indication as to what to do right now. Do you have anything to say? Hello! Bye, bird. Bob's your uncle. I don't know why I thought the bird would have something to say. Nothing up here? No. Please, just take it away. But how can you expect to feel better if you don't eat properly? And from now on, just bring me what I ask for. A healthy digestive system cannot do without roughage, you know. Yes, Mrs. Drake. Ah! <sighs> That roughage. Uh, what did you just put on her door? Hmm, interesting. Hmm, looks like some sort of charm. <laughs> Linda? <sighs> I'll be going now. Tell her that she put the charm there. Ask her what it means. Boy, oh howdy. I know not what to do. Mercury's all covered up. Mercury. Oh, oh, Mercury. Mercury and Earth. I guess, okay. I never realized that that's what the statue was of. Where am I? How did I get all the way to the spinning rooms? Looks like Mr. Mercury caught a chill. Yeah, take it off, Nancy. Wait, we don't need him? We need him, don't we? Looks like Mr. Mercury caught a chill. A Collis, or whatever his name was. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. Who's a pretty bird in the mirror? Lulu, why do you talk so much? Jesus Christ. I don't remember you ever talking that much. So now that we have water, does this do anything different? No. So yeah, they'll blow him into the holes if you don't do it correctly. How would I fix that though? What would I even do about that? Because we can't do anything with this. You will go that way, that way, and then get blown by one of these guys. I don't know. can't do anything in there. I don't know why I'm going back there. Oh! 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 The... I guess I could go ahead and do that. The, um... The pipes into the central room. That picture is just a literal interpretation of, uh... Your symbols or whatever is on the columns in the great room. At least I think. I'm gonna try this real quick. 
because if you're looking at it from the doorway like this way and this one this one's like that that shit I think I got all of them right maybe why is that one so fancy like that to go to this one Mr. Kane Mr. Kane where's the cane there's the cane Sounds like I did something right. Ooh, scared me. Sounds like I did something right. Did you do something right, Nancy? I still feel like I need to check everything. Just in case. No, I think I did it right. Yeah. So now there's oil, Mercury's covered up, so we can't do anything with him. Looks like Mr. Mercury caught a chill. Yes, yes, Nancy, yes. He did in fact get a little chilly. So the only other thing that I need to figure out is this little doohickey. I'm going to check and see if there's any difference down here, but I'm pretty sure there won't be. There's a few different sounds. We got we got water dripping now, and we got a little bit of a spinny sound. Is that you? Do you work better now? Have I done the air? I am trying to figure out how to get it going, because this is all it does. And then he falls. So I don't... I'm not really sure exactly. Because I can't move or anything while this is going on. Looks like some winds are stronger than others. Wait, what? We just moved? Oh, wow. Okay, well. Now we get to actually do stuff. And I'm going to take one or two steps. How am I going to wrangle these? Oh, do I have to grab them? Like that? Okay. Interesting. Okay. So this is RNG heavy. But how did it get through the last time? Was it because I sp I don't know. I guess it's because there's oil now. Won't I just fall if I step here? No. Yeah. So there's a few things to take note of. No. See, like, <laughs> it's random chance to where the wind goes. Uh, we just did the RNGS game with the frogs. Oh, this is huge. Okay, so it's kind of safe to be in these quadrants, it's only when I go down onto this level would it be non-safe. 
Can I step over things? I can. Okay. Step here. Step here. Step here. No. Oh, I, d I didn't mean to click once. I didn't mean to click once. I was trying to double step. That's so crazy, because I clicked on this puzzle maybe like eight or nine times, and every single time it blew me off, so I thought that, um, I thought that I didn't have the right stuff for it yet. Okay, see, I need to get, I need to go ahead and get one of them, because it's pretty dangerous with that guy up top. Okay, this is decent. Watch, I'm gonna click down and I'm gonna get blown off. Watch, he's gonna move up. Ooh, okay, huge, I'll take it. It's risky. I'll take it. Double step. Nice. Um, two, three. Now that I know we can double step, can we save in the middle like this? Oh my god, we can save in the middle. Yes. That's crazy. Double step. Does that count? Nice. Give me that. Like Alright, so we got three now, I believe. But I think I've, I think I found everything. It feels like we're very close to the end of the game. You did the wand thing. The wand thing. This is not the right time. Yeah, I don't think so either, Nancy. What wand thing might we uh, be referencing with the gargoyles? No, I have no, <laughs> I have no clue uh, what that is actually. A mercury wand? I wonder if it's the wand that we currently have. The mercury. Oh, that is mercury's wand. Okay. No, no tap, no tippy tap. There are multiple gargoyles, there's this one. Oh, that doesn't do what I need to do. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Your award shall be knowledge for those passed before you. You have demons treated. You have demonstrated. I was like, demons treated. To bring fire to the force, tame the master guardian gargoyle and his two companions with Mercury's wand. But be a fleet foot, time is of the essence. So there's a master gargoyle somewhere. And then we have to quickly go boop the other ones on the head or something. Huh. Is that all it took? Is that all it took? Oh, 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 oh. Hurry. Felicity. Yes, Felicity, the door, the door. This wand probably works through magnets. I got them all right. Didn't I get them all? Yes, I did. Okay. So now I should be able to light the forge, right? That's all four. So you got the middle hole. Uh, 
the middle hole? <clears throat> oh, was I supposed to put it there? And then it lights it up? I did all the gargoyles, but I didn't do the middle hole. I know one thing, Nancy probably has some crazy thighs after this. Darn, it was too slow. Are you kidding me? We have to do the whole thing? Okay. Once more. Ting. 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 Okay. No, please, 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 please. Thank you. Whoa, something tells me I just succeeded in lighting the forge. I love Nancy. Whoa! I believe I have just lit the forge. Uh, you don't really talk to Lulu. The forge is lit. Lot. Wow, molten metal. Nancy, why would? It looks like some kind of key. Yeah, Nancy. I need a special key. Uh, why'd you do that, my queen? Okay, you can just redo it. Okay. Um. So now it's just this. I have no clue. I know it has to do with their crests. So what do the coats, the coat of arms? I wish, I wish there was a quick way to get straight to the the maroon. Am I cheating? No, I'm not cheating. I have the uh, the picture. That's the only thing that I took a picture of because I didn't want to sit and draw the whole thing for like five minutes. I have the final solution to unlock the secret in your coat of arms and in the silent book. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Okay. Cool. Alright, well, <laughs> is it really that easy? Am I that dumb? Alright, so we know that he is this. Right, or would it be backwards? Would it be that? I feel like it'll be like that. Well. <clears throat> Let's go look at everything I just looked at, but in a different light. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, I don't know Latin. No, damn it! Did I exclaim happiness too quickly? No, I didn't. Okay. No happiness was exclaimed at the wrong time. Now the only other question I have is... Do I need to do this backwards? Like, do I need to... I don't know. Don't question things. Just just do them. Just do them. Pegasus is in the middle. Common has full cross. Book has full cross. Book. Do a little lefty loo. The king. A little right handed action. I think that's everything. Mr. Forge. Can we try this? Let's see if it's backwards. Beautiful. I think that's beautiful. Is this the end of the game? It doesn't work. Oh, I must have made it wrong. Well, it doesn't work. Yes, yes, I Nancy. Must have yes. Made it wrong. Well, might as well melt the old key down and try again. No. I need a special key. <laughs> I need a special key. Okay, so it keeps it. So... That... Like that? Correct. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. It 
doesn't work. I must have made it wrong. Well, might as well melt the old key down and try again. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. If you're confused what I'm doing, Celery, I'm currently using these on the coats of arms to try and make a key. Woo! Is that a thing? Probably. Puzzle kicked my ass when I played it the first time. Yeah. This, this, this whole game has been kicking my ass the entire time. I'm gonna inverse everything and just mess it all up. Like that? Like this? I hope Nancy just gives me a break if this is not right. She's like, you know what? I can really sense that you tried here. I'm just gonna let you have this one. Give it to me. Big money, big money, big money. No whammies. Please. It doesn't work. Ah. I must have made it wrong. Okay. Well, might as well melt the old key down and try again. Why is my brain not working in this scenario? If the mold is upside down, so one more thing, we'll switch these. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, like that. Oh, a new episode of Drag Race came out tonight. I forgot about that. Have you guys been watching season 16 of Drag Race? Or is that too niche? I say niche, like it's not a televised program on MTV. It doesn't okay. work. I must have made it wrong. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, might as well melt the old key down and try again. <laughs> yeah, Nancy. Is it racing or fun drag? It is, uh, drag. It's like actual, like, men dressing up as women type of drag. You haven't seen a single episode? That's kind of cracked, actually. Maybe you, should, maybe you should keep it that way. Save yourself from all the nasty gays out there. Um, right now, Drag Race streams on Paramount Plus, Prime. Uh, the new season is on Philo. Um, Prime doesn't have season 9 or 10 for some reason, and those two are like some of my favorite seasons. But pretty much any season is really good to start with. Um, people usually suggest five. Five is a pre pretty good season. There's a lot of crazy, crazy famous queens from that season now. Um, pirating is also an option. Hey yo! I didn't hear that from me though. I don't want. I don't want uh, RuPaul Charles himself to come strike the hammer down on me. Yeah. <laughs> Death via RuPaul Charles Hammer. You just hear his laugh from down the hallway. <laughs> like, oh, oh god, he's here. Excuse me, she's here. Don't joke about that. Why am I shilling for Drag Race? <laughs> I'm not getting paid by Mr. RuPaul. I should be getting paid by him. I would love to talk about it on YouTube, but... Uh, the drag race community is a pretty nasty community and I do not want to get hate for having an opinion So that's why I chose the Nancy Drew side because we're all real chill <laughs> We're really chill folks over here and the Sun is Corbin's Just that Okay, so I think that's everything I Think this is actually right yeah, if I were to get, like, a death threat over, you know, me saying that Secret of Shadow Ranch is better than uh, a, a different game, I would be very confused. But if I were to get a death threat because I said Season 2 was not as good as Season 3 of Drag Race, pretty common. Pretty normal thing to happen. <laughs> so, please work. Please. I think it's right. It doesn't work. I must have okay. made it wrong. Let's just see how this goes. There, that looks right. There we go. Also, when I say nice shop, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to every anybody who Whatever cares for it. Found. 
It's mine. Oh, I'm God. the Pendulin, not you. Besides, I would have found it before you did if I didn't have to sit there all day learning all that other silly rubbish. What is that? Oh, God. That is the Pendolin treasure. A rock? 600 years of secrets and mystery and puzzles all because of a stupid rock? No way. There must be something under it. Jane. No, don't touch it! Oh, Jane. What are we doing? You know good and damn well. Jane, I told you not to touch it. <laughs> Jane, I told you. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. No, don't touch it. I guess we did have more than enough time to step out. Help! Help me, help me! <laughs> it's pitch black in here. I can't see anything. Get me out of here, please. I'm sorry I was mean to you before. I'm sorry for everything. Sorry for everything. What do you mean by everything? It's my fault Linda's sick. I mean, she's not really sick. I just made her think she is. I left that curse in her room and gave her allergy pills and put her medicine in a moisturizer. You made her think that she's changing into the Beast of Blackmore, didn't you? This was kind of crazy. I go away. I just wanted to be daddy and me and mommy, my real mommy. Please don't make me talk anymore, Nancy. There's no air in here. I can't breathe. This is kind of crazy because that box off of her fast. This is one of the first and only times that uh there was a child antagonist, right? They, they didn't do that anymore after this, right? Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it Dear was. Dear Ned, well, there is a beast oh, of black wow. Jane, she made poor Linda think it. she was turning into a monster by putting her uncle's hair restorer in Linda's moisturizer. She also slipped Mrs. Drake's allergy pills into Linda's food so she'd feel woozy all the time. An extremely dangerous thing to do. Oh, we thought say, about Jane's that. Or, was very we upset, mentioned that. Especially when he found out Jane had done it because she still wants him and her real mother to get back together. After Jane apologized to Linda and Hugh apologized to both of them, yeah, I was about to say, to do whatever it takes to become a real there's family. There's a few. I'm gonna let this play Manor, through. Ever since I told him about all the passageways and gadgetry I discovered, Hugh has become fascinated with his family history and has asked, no, ordered Ethel to teach him what she's taught Jane. And while he doesn't believe for a second that the meteorite in that old alchemy lab has magical powers, he has encouraged Jane to come up with a puzzle to help ensure its safekeeping, just as initiates have been doing for centuries. Which reminds me, the Pendulin swore me to secrecy when it comes to all their traditions. So don't tell anybody any of this, okay? Oh, Jane's song is playing in the something background. Something was up when he came to get his laptop and has been hounding me ever since. This is just the kind of stuff he'd love to include in that unauthorized tell-all he's trying to write. If he calls me one more time, I'm telling on him. To Mrs. Drake. Oh god, not Mrs. <laughs> That'll Drake. That'll teach him. Ever yours, Nancy. Woo! Hey, sassy detective. Congratulations on cracking the case. They mainly like villains who are early 2000s. Or early 20s or or old usually though yeah that's what i was about to say there is uh lucas and captive curse i don't know i can't really remember if he was a full antagonist or if he just helped but i kind of meant and then i'm i, I am kind of wrong in that instance as well because waverly academy is a high school so like they're technically kids but i meant like young young kids um there's not there's not a lot, I will say that. There's really not a lot of kids in Nancy Drew most of the time. What title did we get? Premium Exploratus. <laughs> Exploratus. For going everywhere and seeing everything. He just dressed up for fun. I got you. I haven't played Captive Curse in a very long time. We, we saw- oh. The year is 1930, oh, and God. everything is on the rise. Unemployment, government breadlines, and organized crime. In the midst of it all, a heroine is born. Armed with only a flashlight, a blue roadster, and a spirited resourcefulness, a 16-year-old detective will go on to inspire hope in the hearts of young girls and curses upon the lips of evildoers everywhere. Everywhere. Her name? Nancy Drew. That kind of sounded like Argyle Fump, <laughs> to be honest. 
at the end there. They they made Seeker to the old clock after such a good game as Curse of Blackmore Manor. That's crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Desiree, so much for getting me through this game.